welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, tonight I've got Michael Lewis Anderson in the kitchen. Hi. Aren't I so lucky? That's my third man this week in the kitchen. Oh, sorry, I was in the baked in kitchen on Monday. But really, really very lucky to have this wonderful man in the kitchen. He is going to be doing a live tonight all about chocolate. He's coming back on Sunday. He's going to do royal icing. So lots of things to show you. And we are really excited to have him here. Even though, how many hours sleep have you had? One hour? Have you had an hour of sleep? Half an hour. Half an hour. Poor man was up till late last night on a flight at four this morning, landed with us just after seven o'clock and we have worked him <laughs> solid because he's had to prepare for the class that he's got for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, live tonight, live on Sunday, then he can go home and rest. And I've got a lumbago on. And you got what? A lumbago. Oh yeah, yeah. he's got a lumbago, he's got so. a poorly back. <laughs> so do I have any sympathy? No, I don't. Anyhow, so we've got him in the kitchen, that's the main thing. Now, we've also got some guests in the kitchen. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> we've got a full crew in the kitchen. So we're doing a class tomorrow with Michael, our first class, and some of the students have already arrived locally, staying in hotels, so I actually invited them along. So if you do hear some little squeals, or little smiles, or little giggles, it's because the girls are in the kitchen and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus Laura, I mean you, eight, nine. We're, it's, we're, it's a very busy kitchen. <laughs> so um, I'm filming tonight. There's no Maria, Maria here because she's actually just moved into her brand new apartment and basically she's up to her eyes in suitcases. So she apologizes for not being here tonight. So it's me over your shoulder. Yeah. That's going to be good. We're going to be good. I yes, hope so. so. We have to be good. We do. So Laura, how is our audience growing? Fantastic. We're just slowly creeping up. So we're over 100 at the moment. Um, lots of hellos and welcomes, Michael. Like, Hello. Very, very happy viewers to see you here. Do you know anybody? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's lots of names popping up. Just lots of highs, thumbs up and love hearts at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so and are we live on YouTube, Laura? Um, yes, we're live on YouTube as well. So it's hi to everyone that's joined us this evening. It's really nice of you to join us. We know you're really looking forward to it. Um, as we say every week, um, we're in the Sugar and crumbs, crumbs Kitchen for a free live tutorial. We always say what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. So all we want you to do is tune in, enjoy and have a bit of fun with us. If you've got any questions that are relevant to tonight's live, pop them in the comments and we'll get through them when we can. If we do miss anything, we will try and catch up during the week for you. Um, also, if you're new to watching the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Lives, say hi and introduce yourself. It's really nice to hear from anyone who's new. Um, and similarly, if you're existing viewers, very, very loyal following that we have, say hi, of course. We always love to hear from Absolutely. you as well. And Michael would love to get lots of love hearts yes. and big kisses off you all. That would be lovely. Because you've had loads of me today. I have, and, I. <laughs> <laughs> and she's even done my washing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, came, I came with my dirty washing, didn't I? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, Karen had to send me a message. She go, have you got it in the machine? I went, oh, God, no. <laughs> Anyhow. But then John saved the day because he drove it, drove it, drove it tried it and brought tried it all down it. nicely for you. <laughs> so let's just tell you a few things what we're doing today. So we're doing a like and share. Don't forget to like and share this live. And um, now Calibo Chocolate are sponsoring this live tonight, which basically means they have supplied the, all the chocolate for tonight and anything else that Michael wants to do, which is fantastic. Um, our chocolate, the chocolate that we've got in at the moment, if we're missing one or two, don't worry. We're just waiting for our delivery to arrive, which will arrive midweek. So don't worry if we haven't got it in stock. I think we've got everything in stock, but just in case I'm surprised and one or two are missing, don't worry. Um, that'll be on its way. But Calibo put this lovely prize together. So Michael, tell them what it is. So what is it? It's, first of all, you've got a drink. I like it. That's not bad, is it? It's Calibo, too, Calibo. Yeah, Calibo. And do not submerge. Okay, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, to be oops. fair, to be fair, you can have it for a hot drink or a, a cold drink, drink, cold drink. You? which is great. Hot chocolate. Yes, yes, absolutely. Great. But this is great for when you're a caker, because how many times are we moving stuff around the kitchen and we always knock something over? And the worst thing you can have knock over is your drink. Yeah, especially. It is. And you don't want your drink in yeah. your hot chocolate. So, I've so. got a bad back, you've got a bad back. Who's bending to pick the glove up you've dropped? It's not a glove, it's a con. Oh, it's, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I've actually been on morphine for the last few days, and it's okay. So no, this is a scraper. You've got two right. of those. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Great for cleaning uh, your bowls out. Yeah. yeah, yeah KitchenAid really. or whatever. Fantastic. Or even for smoothing your cakes with. A pair of gloves. If you're. A you might be cold. wondering why you want the gloves. 
So these are actually special gloves when you are uh, molde, uh, making your pralines chocolates. You actually don't want to get your fingerprints on the on the chocolate, so you use your gloves. So any Perfect. solid chocolate yeah. decorations, uh, let's say you're going to make Easter egg molds or anything like that, the worst thing you do is take them out and have fingerprints all over them. So this stops it. These are very nice. Yeah. They are nice. I'll take these myself, but they're not my size. No, I know. So. I've got them myself yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then you've got a choice of the samples of the chocolate. You've got the 823, which is uh, it's a milk chocolate. They're in little chocolate buttons. Absolutely fantastic. You've got black chocolate. Wait a minute. What's up, Laura? Just got an interruption on the broadcast, so I'm going to see if we're still live. Okay. Just bear with us in case we have frozen. So what I'll do is, Laura, I'm just going to go and turn the internet off next door. Okay. So Michael can carry on talking. You can watch. Am I talking now? Just no. She'll tell you. Okay. Hold on. No, we'll pause at the moment. <coughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. We are sorry we've lost you there. I'll get Maria to piece everything together. Apparently I was like that. And I was like this. And we froze. <laughs> Put it on a string. <laughs> but we're back. <laughs> so do you want to tell them about this fantastic prize from Calibo? Yeah. So uh, while the in fact, Laura, do you want to see how the audience is coming back yeah, in again? Yeah, it will just take us a few minutes. Yeah, we are just slowly think. but surely everyone's coming yes, back to before us. Before we start, yeah. we will just be a few minutes before we get back to where we were. So our apologies about that. I do forget to turn off all the office computers when we go live sometimes. So it's taking all our energy. And because we've got so many apparatus in the kitchen that we need the Wi-Fi for, I need to turn off excess ones, so hmm. I forgot about it. But anyhow, so Te we're building we're building up technology, it's not what it used to be, is it? Yeah, the thing <laughs> is when you're streaming as well, what happens is it needs as much Wi-Fi as it can. Mm. So if we're using stuff that we don't really need, so my phone's off, everybody's is off now, which is great. Yeah. So what I'll do is um, just introduce ourselves again. So I've got <coughs> Michael Lewis Anderson in the kitchen tonight. He's going to do a fantastic demonstration on, with using Calibo Chocolate. Calibo Chocolate is sponsoring us this evening and they're actually doing a fabulous prize for us. So for, if you're going to like and share tonight, and it's not if you're going to, we want you to like and share this live tonight for an opportunity to win this. We will draw the winner next week for you. Now it will be next Thursday that we do the draw. I'm going to get Michael to talk you through it. I'm going to get Laura to do the intro again. So Laura, do you want to say hello again to Absolutely. everyone? Absolutely, yeah. We're just hitting back to where we were in terms of viewers. So we're over 230 at the moment. So like Carol said, apologies for that. We are back online. Um, and as we always say, if you've missed any of the live, we will pop it on Facebook when we're finished anyway. It always gets pinned to the top of the page and it always gets transferred over to YouTube. And Maria will work her magic and piece everything together for you so you don't have to look out <coughs> for two videos. Um, as we were saying before, we've got Michael in the kitchen with us this evening. I know you've all been looking forward to this since we've announced that he's, um, he's our guest in the kitchen this week. And we've got lots of viewers who are on the classes this weekend. Yeah, so hi watching. to everybody. Yeah, there's lots of people. And the fact that we've got Can't five worry. of them in the kitchen. Oh, no, yeah. half, the oh. the class are all, half the class are in the kitchen with us. It's very warm in this kitchen tonight, it's, isn't it? I know. It's a problem with chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> a hot flush. I love it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely. If you're, in, if you're watching and you're on the class, say hi. Um, if you're new to watching the Facebook Live, introduce yourself and, and say hi. It's really, really good to hear from you. If you've got any questions that are relevant to tonight's live, pop them in the comments and we will try and get through them as we go through the live. If we do miss them though, we always catch up during the week for you. Um, like and share, like Carol said before, we've got a fantastic prize that will go through all the details with you. So all we ask you to do is like and share the Facebook Live um, and we'll pop you into a prize draw which will be drawn next week. Super. Wonderful. Do you want to tell them about this fabulous yeah. prize? Should we start again? Should we start with a cup? We'll start with a cup. Yes. Wonderful cup. Uh, hot and cold drinks, we say? Absolutely, yeah. Nothing better than to put your hot chocolate inside. Yes. That would be great. So that you've got that. Yeah. Only one. Two corns. We call these corns. What do you See, call I call them scrapers. Scrapers, yeah. yeah we call them corns. They're professional. Uh, these are great for cleaning your uh, mixing bowl and you get the last scrap out. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll be using these. And these are Calibo's own as well. They've yeah. actually got their logo on them, which is nice. Very it's nice. What they use. And they've got a, a, a really flat edge and a chamfered edge as yeah. well, which is great. Isn't you have it? to be a little bit careful sometimes because you can cut yourself with it. Mm. Yeah, but they're very good. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's actually their colour, you know, yes. it's uh, this kind of uh, creamy colour. 
plastic bowl to be able to make your chocolate inside. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. A pair of gloves. The gloves are actually for be able to be able to touch the chocolate so you don't get your fingerprints on the chocolate. Don't know, it's a good thing to yeah. think about, isn't that's it? Great. I never think about it, but you can get a look with fingerprints all over your chocolates. Yeah, that's great. And you've got a selection of chocolate. You've got four packets here, and each one is a. Uh, you've got a milk chocolate, throw in a little, uh, little uh, chocolate buttons, and it actually tells you, which is fantastic, it tells you where it comes from, what's inside, if you've got any allergies, but these are absolutely great. And it also tells you the tempering of the chocolate, how to actually temper it from which. Because each chocolate will be different, uh, whether it's black, white, or milk chocolate. But we can talk about that tonight. That we can talk about tonight. Because that's the thing you see about chocolate. Nobody really understands what it is. And they don't understand what the difference is with milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and that there's two types of dark chocolate. And there's white chocolate, which has no chocolate. chocolate in. And <laughs> the best one, the brand one which we're going to talk about also, is this one. Yeah. I think it's made especially for you, huh? It goes I like that. The wall, Absolutely. Isn't it? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> but I also like gold. Have you tasted those? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Yeah. I would never give that to anyone. I'd just eat it. Has yeah. any of you tasted this? This is good, isn't it? Have you not tasted this, Wendy? No. Oh, this is fantastic. No. Oh, Calma. it's great. Yeah. And then you've got oh, these. You can give me a packet, don't mind. These are, when you, you open the packet and you get such a smell of the chocolate. Yeah. But these are little chocolate crispies. Yep. Yeah. These are great for decorating just ice cream. And these are, Fair nice. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. It's yeah. really, Calaboy is a great product. It, they've existed since, uh, it's actually written on the globe when they've been existing in the, uh, the company, 1911, Belgium company. In a, in a, uh, in Belgium was divided in two parts, Flemish and Dutch speaking, which is Flemish speaking and French speaking, and they belong to the Dutch part. Mm. And, it's and I learned something from the, the other week which I didn't realise. I just thought Belgian chocolate, that you just called it Belgian chocolate. I don't know why, because you bought the chocolate from Belgium, but it doesn't, it actually has to be made in Belgium. It's got to be made in yeah, Belgium. Yeah, so it's got to be made in Belgium to become Belgian chocolate. And then they make it over there and they bring it over here and package it over here, which is amazing. That's great. Isn't it? Good. Right, so let's get that out of the way. So let's get that out of the way. So that's the prize for the like and share tonight. So do make sure you're liking and sharing. So I've been very lucky this week. I've been traveling up and down the country. I don't know whether that's lucky or not, actually. It's been truly <laughs> exhausting. But um, I spent uh, Monday night with the Baked In Boys. It was a great live, even though I was very, very cold, which is unusual for me. But their studio kitchen is in the warehouse, so I now know what it feels like if I was working in, in our ours. warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Karen was laughing at me. She had no sympathy at all. <laughs> so I just want to tell you about a few new goodies in. There's lots of new goodies in on the... Um, what's new on the website. Our website is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. PME have brought out some new edible paints. They're actually on the website. They're 20 mil, so they're quite big and they're all uh, metallic and pearl. They're absolutely lovely. And I'm sure lots of you have seen these crystal boxes. They brought these out just after Christmas. Lots of people ask me would I get them in. So they start from a size 6x6, 7 deep. There's an 8x8, a 10x10, a 12x12. And we've had the lovely Vicky make the 14 by 14. <laughs> so these make fabulous presentation boxes. So they are lovely They're for that special cake. So rather than having to put it in a box and extension, um, extension pieces, you can actually display it in one of these and uh, give it as a gift in one of these. So lots of different sizes. So uh, if you're looking for those, they're called crystal cake boxes and we've actually got them all in stock. And I also think if you go on a class and you make something in class, aren't they nice now to keep and protect them in here? Mm -hmm. Aren't Very they? Nice deal, aren't they? So, uh, so there we go, I'm gonna get those out of the way. And then sweet stamp. So Amy has released her brand new sweet stamp. Okay, we've got them in stock and it's called Bubblegum. So you'll see that there's a new box as well. So um, I know all of you are after boxes, okay? I, I feel so sorry for Amy, but basically she's brought in boxes to keep everybody happy. And um, the thing with boxes, they do cost money. They don't, you know, they don't come cheap. She's having to fly them in, ship them in. But her difficulty now is she can't actually sell a set of stamps without a box. 
box so she is struggling to get boxes fast enough she's very much aware that everybody wants these boxes and I've already been asked in class now haven't I these ladies are eyeballing me I'm going to keep an eye on these because I won't be surprised if they disappear we want to make them into picture frames as we were saying earlier <laughs> yeah you did yeah, yeah. so um so the, this is a new box so you will either get so if you're ordering sets off us now you may get them in a white box you may get them in one of them who knows it's what they come in so um so please don't ask but the new set which is bubblegum is on the website okay and it's really a very pretty and it's quite um i don't know if the word funky is the right yeah, it's word it's almost like a cartoon yes that's what it reminds me of yeah it's like when you did you ever write those bubble letters, bubble letters. yeah and, and i think that's what it's like brought yeah. back there, absolutely yeah. So, uh, so anyhow, so they're actually on sale now, so you can grab those. So I am actually going to, oh, and we've got the giant numbers in as well. I think I might have told you about these last week. I just wanted you to see how big they are. And I think, what are they? I think they are, I think it's about three inches. I think two and a half inches, yeah. three inches. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. So they're quite big though. So if you're looking for doing your birthday numbers, putting on the side of the cake, 21, 60, 40, whatever it is, uh, they're a really nice big number for you to do as well. So I'm going to get those out of the way. And what are I'm, you actually going to do tonight? I'm Michael? just actually looking, sorry, I'm just looking at these and I would actually use those actually put on the cake even without... Uh just as they are actually on the cake, they look very, very nice. Yeah, know? they're nice, but we yeah. don't want to give them away. No. No, no. So no. It means you'd have to buy a lot of sets. Yes, to be you would. To yeah. Yeah, we'd love the person who could afford, afford lots of sets. <laughs> yeah. And you do get an exclamation mark in this and a question mark, which is quite nice. It's nice. So, um, so Michael, what have you got What are we going to make? make? Um, well, I've got the reputation of actually every year I make a cake in honour for the Queen of England yes. for her birthday. So should we tell them a little bit about you then? Do you want should to? Tell, yeah, well you can tell them, because okay. all I can do is zoom into this. That's, um, this. Yeah, that's look at it all the time. We'll have to see where it's come from. <laughs> Publicity, no, it's And what's this about? Oh, this is my logo. This is a friend of mine. She made this, and yeah, uh, yeah you see this and everywhere. And this one? Uh, Somebody gave me that, a fan, right. because Good. I collect crowns. Yeah, so if fans. any fans are there yeah, and they want to send me a crown, <laughs> I've got a few. <laughs> well, I'm nice to them. Yeah, yeah so um, I'm, I've lived actually, I'm actually from this area, you know, which is quite funny. It's like coming back home, <laughs> you know. It's, uh, you have to wait for the accent to start coming out again. <laughs> and um, We've yeah. got a lady coming tomorrow who comes from where you used to live. Oh, really? So, yes. Mostly. And we, yeah, and we've got another lady coming on Sunday yeah. who's from from where you live. Her sister has a pub from the area. So lots of remedies. That, going actually, on tomorrow. Actually, the lady's actually from the paper round. I used to have a paper round when I was a kid, when I was, uh, yeah, 11 years old, delivering papers in the area. And uh, the, yeah, the, where the pub is, it was very used to. Yeah. Yeah, good. So, so good yeah, then I, I did my studies in, uh, in the north of England, in Ashton Underline, uh, Beaufort Road. Yeah, yeah, I think it still exists, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Pastry, a pastry school, confectionery, and we, at the time we used to do, we did the one-to-one. -one did you design. go to Tameside College? Tameside College. So did I. You're joking. We're no. probably in the same class. <laughs> <laughs> you did know. my BTEC diploma at Tameside oh, really? College, yeah. In hotel catering. I, you were on the other side then. I was on the good side, Michael. I turned up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible decision. Um, um, yeah, from there, I, I actually was the first person to win a scholarship there, actually. to uh, the, the, we, we had a, a prize winning, a prize award, a, a premier award, it was called, and I won that award. Amazing. Yeah, well, I great. probably turned up and talked all the way through it, and you probably did studying and did well. That was probably, yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had the opportunity to go to Switzerland to work. Worked in Switzerland, then to Germany, and uh, every time I worked somewhere, I always learned the technique of cake design and decoration which is imagine now it's we didn't have the internet or no. fantastic things like that so everything was really really but what was your love first my love first was actually the um kitchen cooking was it yeah really? it was yeah. actually cooking yeah because yeah, i wanted to do the cooking and then i f uh, did the first christmas cake yeah it was horrible it was you know like you say let's show your old photographs you know what you've done in the past i, I, I think it's hiding somewhere and it said Oh, I've got a few of my old photographs. Yeah. So we all start from somewhere. And then there was uh, Prince Charles and Lady Diana that got married. Yeah. And then uh, we went to, I think it was Old Liege somewhere. There was, uh, I don't it's Marshalls. Is it still there? I can't I remember. Cake design. It was one of the first shops. Laura, there. You're over that way. <coughs> and it, not that old. <laughs> you're not that old. Oh, come on. 
I was only asking if they were still in business. Yeah, uh, yeah I was asking you your age. I haven't got my own. He did say, he did say, is it still going? And I said, no, no how are you going yeah, I, I went to see this wedding. Every, it was uh, it was one of the number of the wedding cakes that was for Charles and Diana. There was about 26 or something in total of the cakes. And I remember going there to see it with my mum. And we had to queue up to see this cake. And it was, I went, wow. I said to mum, I said, this is what I want to do. Right. And it was this... To see the style, it was a very similar style to Eddie Spence. Yeah. yeah so and you've worked with Eddie Spence, haven't you? I did uh, Eddie Spence last year. We did uh, a collaboration together with yeah. the replica of the Queen Victoria's wedding cake. Which was good. Which was fantastic, yeah. And this cake, I said, I remember saying to mum, I said, uh, I want to make cakes. She said, yeah, but you are doing it. I said, no, I want to make cakes for the royals. And that's your thing. And that's, and that's what happened. It, it actually started, yeah, it started in Belgium. Lived there for 31 years now, 32 oh, years. Long time. Yeah, it's a long time. Well, if anybody wants to know more about Michael, pop over to his website because he has a website page called Michael, Michael Lewis, Lewis Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Michael Lewis Anderson. I always call him Hamilton. That's so bad, isn't and it? It's like Lewis Carroll <laughs> and Lewis <Sebastian> Anderson also. <laughs> so so do pop over to his actual website page, Michael Lewis Anderson, and uh, you'll read a little bit about him and what he's done, and some of the events, and see some of the amazing cakes. He also has his own Facebook page. Do go over there and give that a like as well. And you know, feel free tomorrow to send any messages to what you think of the live tonight. He won't be answering anything because he's got work to do, hasn't he, girls? Yeah. yeah. So some very excited I, I ladies in the classroom. And I don't call the po I don't call them Facebook followers. I call them Facebook stalkers. Do you? Yeah, I love my stalkers. So stalk, please. Yeah, that's yeah. what we want. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and get my camera ready because I'm on filming, and then you want to get your stuff and. Karen is our assistant today, so she has got everything all lined up for what we're going to do, and I'm going to get Michael to get started. So while Michael preps, gets himself prepped up, I'm going to get Laura to shout out some hellos, remind you about what the prize is for this evening for liking and sharing. I think I might have to take some clothes off as well because I am absolutely boiling. It, so, it, it is <laughs> off, and I'm actually wondering if we're going to open the door, open door because with the chocolate we're going to have a little bit of a problem yeah. and a little bit. Because it's so hot in here. And um, and then I'm going to leave you to it, Laura, while I'll just go and get some bits. So what do you need, Michael? What do I need? I've, I'm perfectly okay. We're going to start right. now with the uh, m making a cake. Yeah. And uh, I'm being filmed now, aren't I? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see everything that I'm doing. Absolutely. So, okay, where's the cake? It's in the fridge. No, it's yeah. there next to you. What, what would you there like? There it is. The case yeah. one? No, that one next to it, yeah. Yeah. So, in Belgium, how it works, <laughs> we actually make cakes this thick, it's a, it's a style that, that is um, not too mm. thick, a little bit lower, Perfect. okay there you are, Thank you. Um, I'll show you how to do this, we're going to make this cake, it's actually made with chocolate, absolutely delicious, it's actually the favourite recipe of the Queen, oh yeah, fabulous, it's a favourite recipe, I've twisted a little bit because obviously uh, there's certain things in it I like, and it's a really really easy recipe to use, easy to make, and it goes a long way. Now there's a story that the Queen Elizabeth, when she makes this cake, is that uh, when she serves it for afternoon tea, she knows how much is left over. And, if there's a <laughs> and if it, when it goes back to the kitchen, mm. she knows how much is left. And there's a piece taken, and it's uh, hell they're in do. trouble. They're in trouble. So we're gonna do something actually, we're gonna make the cake using also, I'll give you the recipe, it's very easy, but we'll also be using sugar and crumbs flavored icing sugars. Wonderful. Which goes perfectly well with it. So we're going to build this cake up. We're going to do another cake also. Um, I'll show you how I ganache a cake. An easy way. I like mm -hmm. easy, simple ways. No complication. That's exactly what we and like. That's what, I, that's <laughs> what I like. So everything we're doing this evening is, uh, let's say, a trial. It's a test, isn't it? Because yeah. uh, even we've got products behind me yeah. and uh, we're going to be using those and uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun and see how it's, well I hope we're going to have fun and yeah. see how it goes, so it's, uh, yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. I have no idea what you're doing. I, I told I'm them neither. that he was making a swan cake. She wanted me to make a swan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but Sorry. I didn't think we were Sorry. making a swan cake. No, but since Mother's Day <laughs> is coming up, Mother's Day, we're going to actually make a Mother's Day cake. <laughs> yeah. And then using all this, also all the chocolates in the different ways and you're going to see how it works. Now we've got a bit of fun here also because what's here on this because we've got a bit of a problem is that I needed a marble table and so the easiest way to do that I'll explain that later which is quite fun. Mm. So what we're going to do we're going to go for has everybody got a pen or you're going to write this down it's mm. very easy 
Just think of two, two, two. Are you wearing your two, 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 Thank you very much. So this is just normal, simple routine. You know, it's a, I've made this cake for, once made it for 500 people. So you wouldn't make it in a mixer like this. But made it quite large, you know. So this is inside there. And then what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go for the, you just, so there's 200 grams inside, okay? So that's easy to remember. We've got the Jaffa, is it the Jaffa that we're gonna use? Chocolate honeycomb. Chocolate honeycomb, you have the packet so I can show the people what the packet is. Yeah. Sorry, I was yeah. meant to make Jaffa twist for you. So, this is absolutely delicious, even, uh, this is really You've good. You've got to taste that, have you? It's I, I, stu I stuck my finger inside oh, yeah. it, yeah, and it's really good, it's really good. Excuse the dust. <laughs> Sorry ladies. <laughs> Excuse the dust. That's because we've got the door open. No, it's okay. <laughs> don't so, turn that on full power. I'm just, no, 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 no don't worry. I'm just, apparently this... Um, but the reason, I don't know if you see this, this green thing underneath is stop it slipping because it likes to go for a walk. Yeah, it does. And it's, it's, it's actually, it's actually gone, I've actually been somewhere in a workshop once and it's actually gone for a walk and it walked on the floor. Oh. But that was making um, rum babas. So that's, it's got to have a lot of elasticity in there. And this thing was dancing around and I was, I was working there making macaron. <laughs> and this thing kind of danced off, the machine danced off the table on the floor and it was just still continuing <laughs> and the dough was flying everywhere which is quite well this is just off the cream what we're making now in a way it's like a it's like a buttercream mm -hmm. yeah if you want to get in on the camera if you're not to control. I've got a yeah, we're on. All right, I don't mind okay let's spread that down a bit so you got a spatula, a big spatula. now what We'll use this afterwards. I'm going to already use this, huh? so don't say that it's... Well, they'll be happy. You'll be As happy. used then, by oh, Michael. Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Sorry, Michael, okay. can you say it was 200 of the icing sugar? 200 icing sugar. You can... The recipe that actually... It's only last week that I was actually making it with icing sugar. So normally I use caster sugar. Very fine caster sugar. And um, actually every country you go to, sugar's different. It's not the same. And I used to use the finest castor sugar, and it was it was fine. But then it's a little bit crunchy, and I thought, well, why not try and combine it with this demonstration? And but why not use the icing sugar? So and it works out perfectly. It's, it's great. It's delicious. So yeah, can I give you that? That's great. <laughs> Does it taste good? <laughs> So if you, obviously this is brown, brown, uh, brown icing sugar. If you, we're going to do another one which will be with white, white icing sugar, so you won't get that chocolatey finish already. So that's all it is. Then we need the eggs. Right, talk for a minute. So I'm back on. <laughs> okay, fresh eggs, fresh eggs. Okay. Uh, please don't start sending messages in saying why are you using fresh eggs? It's salmonella, etc., etc. Um, Her Majesty herself has been eating this from, and, uh, and she's doing quite well, I think, in her age, and it's not done her any harm. Exactly. So, okay. This is just creamy. We're going to make a second one in a minute. Well, that, can you see that? Can you yep. see what it is? Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the chocolate to go in. This is when I'm going to start getting it all over my. Um, That's when it's going to cook the egg anyway, isn't it? Yeah. This so is. Just is just <coughs> okay. Yep. So this is this is 200 grams as well. So two eggs, 200 grams of chocolate. Melted it, chocolate. Melted chocolate. It can be any type of chocolate. So I just did this demonstration the other day in front of 400 people at the Salon de Chocolat in in Brussels. And everybody was like, wow, 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 it's fantastic. You know, now, there's one thing that I'm saying to everybody is, why are you using such good chocolate to make a cake? And I just want to say, is if you want a good cake, like anything, everything's got to be good ingredients. So, um, just mix it in, that's it. 
this here now, you have a cream. You can actually use this as a butter cream. And you can fill your cakes with it. It smells good. Yeah. It smells very chocolatey, doesn't mm. it? So you've not just got the chocolate you inside. Yeah. Yeah, you've not just got the chocolate inside, <laughs> but you've also got your fantastic product here, which is great. And we're going to do another one afterwards. But you were very pleased about this set. You only really used it for the first time last year, wasn't it? Yeah. You were quite impressed, weren't you? I was quite impressed. In Germany, that's where we made friends. We did, didn't we? And, and what did were... you fall in love with first? It was with you. Oh good, that was the right answer. That was the right answer. <laughs> oh, she, she's not paying me for that, you know. And I've been in love with you ever since. I always talk about you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. They didn't see me in Germany afterwards once we got no, together, did they? You were where we were. <laughs> so shall we do shall we do if the John's next? watching, don't worry, John, I still do. No. <laughs> shall we do the next shall we do We'll put those biscuits in afterwards, yeah? Because I want to kind of show what we can do with this. Shall we make the second one so we yeah. can... We're going to need another one of those. Another bowl, yeah. yeah. Carol, we're stopped again. We're stopped again. No way. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Sorry about that. Um, when we're streaming and we're using a lot of cameras, it does take a lot of energy. So we basically, we've disconnected the camera. We've moved the um, KitchenAid over to here. But while our audience is growing, quite a few of you just before we went off was asking about the recipe. I did forget to tell you that we didn't put the recipe up today. Ma uh, Maria is gonna put it up in the morning. Um, it's been an absolute crazy day today and we've been so busy sort of covering dummies, drums, cleaning, moving stuff around and, and none of us have actually stopped that we haven't had a chance to write the recipe but I'm going to get Michael to just talk you through it a minute just while the audience is building back again but the actual recipe will be on the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up recipe website tomorrow and Maria is going to have to piece all this lot together and replay it on YouTube as well and uh, we'll replay it as a live as well um, once she's done that so uh, the recipe link will be on there. So Michael do you want to talk me through the recipe, love? We'll make it again. So yes. Can, yes. But we'll do it with another chocolate. We'll, yes. We're going to do something chocolate? quite sexy now. <gasps> oh, sexy. Yeah, this I love. This is for you, this one. And this is going to be really something nice for Mother's Day. And it's a first. I've never made it before. Mm -hmm. So it's really, uh, I hope Calibor Rappi that we're kind of uh, I hope trying, so too. Yes. making a trial yeah, with yeah, their recipe. Very exciting. I know it normally works, so it should be, it should be perfectly okay. We'll get right. back to this in a minute. So there's no problem for that. What do we need first? Um, so... The butter, the butter, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my northern accent coming out there. Eh? We're going to so use a bit of butter. the last butter you used wasn't softened or melted. It was, um, it was, it was softened. Yeah, room temperature. And this, temperature. this we over melted, but we're going to kind of see what it happens. Goes. Oh, oh, it yeah. goes. I, I love to do that. We're doing a proper wing in it. Yeah, we're going to wing it. And it, there's a lot of, uh, I'm going to say, a lot of um, good recipes that are actually made when you wing it, you know. Right. No, okay. I know. Listen, I wing it all my life. Yeah. So the icing sugar. That's how I got through me 58 years. So the icing sugar there, which one did we use? So we've got another packet coming across here. White there chocolate it is, raspberry. Isn't it? There you are, this one? Yep. So this is it white chocolate raspberry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's this appropriate. Is, that's not And can I know which chocolate you're going to use then? Yeah, no, which one I'm going to use, yeah. Mm. So should we give the girls another blast of icing sugar? <laughs> so 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of powdered sugar. Yep. Yeah. So did you get that 200? Before, Michael did say it was a 222. So it's 200 grams of sugar, which we're using flavoured icing sugar, 200 grams of softened butter, and I do believe two eggs is coming up next. Two eggs are coming up next. I yeah. just want to see what, I'm just. So Laura, is our audience coming back again? Absolutely, we're over, we're almost at 300 again. Right, which oh, wow. is fantastic. That's yeah. good. So I, I really do appreciate you keep coming back and sticking with us, but that just shows how loyal you are, which is absolutely brilliant. And the support that you're giving Michael tonight. So I do appreciate it. So if we do go off, we do actually have to wait the 30 second delay. So when you're watching, we actually know that we've gone off before you do. Um, but we have to wait for those 30 seconds, then we have to reboot again, and then we have to wait for you all to come back. So, Michael. So, you see it's coming together. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, it's coming now. Just push it a little bit. But the thing is, in the room also, it's quite warm. Yeah. Yeah. Open so, the door open again? Yeah, yeah, we're going to open the door a little bit. 
this smells really, this smells really, really good. I just love this. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. And it's great because we've also got other recipes on the back. Who likes white chocolate and raspberry? <laughs> the raspberry one is one of our top selling flavours, especially raspberry ripple. And then when we brought, brought out white chocolate and raspberry, salted caramel is our hot selling one, and the white chocolate and raspberry superseded salted caramel. Our top selling flavours are salted caramel, followed by lemon drizzle, I think it's velvet vanilla, <laughs> raspberry ripple, or is it strawberry? It might be Jaffa. Oh yeah, Jaffa's sneaking up, isn't it? Jaffa Twin. Um, strawberry milkshake and raspberry ripple. But when we brought this one out, it just went straight to the top. Everybody went mad for it. So last year we brought out a new recipe called lime and raspberry, and Laura and I fell in love with it. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, it was good. Yeah. yeah. And Laura and I really did fall in love with it, but we didn't get much chance to promote it last year. So it's coming back in as one of the summer recipes, and we're going to be on it. I'm going to show you lots of things to make with the lime and raspberry. Wow. It's really, it's really nice. So, as you see, it's coming up. It's not bad, is it? No. Yeah. The thing is with the kitchen aid, I also want to go a little bit faster. But it's the same as when I'm driving off, you know. I think it's too fast. <laughs> In Belgium, we've got far too many speed controls now, so we have to be really careful. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Ooh, did you hear that then? I did. That's not. Something went wrong then. Um, this should actually be a little bit colder. We're going to try and wing this to the end. I'm going to try and wing it to the end, are <laughs> Yeah. So, you've got 200 grams of these. Now, it should be thick like that. Yeah, so if you noticed in the last recipe, Michael used room temperature butter. And this one, we just over melted it in the microwave to the point that it was liquid. Who thought was that, Karen? Michael. That was actually mine. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know when you're in when you're in somebody else when no, you're in somebody else's kitchen, <laughs> you know you don't know anything technology. I don't know. Shall we have those eggs? Karen, Karen is prepping all the ingredients right. tonight, so she has everything all lined up and organised. I did this. Did you? I did. Oh, now I'm giving Karen the glory. She's actually melting everything. She's <laughs> melting all the chocolates and everything because that's... Um... Can I ask a quick question? So, Viv Goddard has said, why are you using a balloon whisk? Why not? Just to get, why are you yeah, but using why the not? balloon? Exactly. Is it to get more in No, I, 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 I always use that. I, I, I like that. Yeah, just it's the same when you make it's just my preference. You can actually use, uh, you can use the, how do you call it, the beaker? Yeah, yeah but don't forget, yeah. it's not making buttercream here, it's actually mixing chocolate in it as well, so this isn't buttercream. It's yeah. actually a mix with making. Look at how that's coming through So now. even though it's starts off with butter and sugar, we have then added hot chocolate to it. So, oh. I'm still lifting, Warm, melting I'm still yeah. taking this out and going down to the bottom, because yeah. it can still be a little bit of a, a little bit of our choc um, butter. You don't Sorry. want it. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to dirty my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. There, there's only Michael who wants to do a demonstration with all his oh, clothes on. Yeah, just wait, with all my clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's should, a different show. You should see when. You should see when. You should see when we make a naked cake. That's why. That's why there's a whole load of girls in here. That's why we call it a naked cake. They're all waiting for you to start taking your clothes so off. So here we are. The, oh, right. That's, that's what they're this. all waiting for. Yeah, this is a raspberry. This is going to be a really, really first time. So this is the ruby chocolate, isn't it? This is the ruby chocolate, yeah. Show them how pink it is under that. Beautiful. Uh, that's that? perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It's actually... Do you want to explain what the ruby chocolate is? Yeah, you explain it. Yeah, okay. Get the packet <laughs> so we can read what it's written. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually a chocolate that's... Um, it's a, how many years? It's 11 years or something? Well, can I just tell you? No. After next month, Laura and Karen are going down to the academy. So oh. they're going to be our specialists in chocolate. <laughs> have you seen, have you seen how that's come together? They're going to tell you everything. Chocolate. <laughs> have you seen how that's come together when you wing yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you wing it. <laughs> yeah. So 200 grams of chocolate. Okay. Do be prepared. This could be an extended live. And we don't know what the colour is going to look like. I hope it's still going to look a bit look pinkish. I don't want to. Are my edges on the, I mean, you see my bold patch? No, not no, that's all. Who's ever seen it? Mine or your No, is? sometimes Michael's, but not often. Yeah. Not often. Okay. Not often, <laughs> don't, don't worry. worry. Okay. 
Nice to look down your chest and stuff. Well, I was looking down yours as well, so what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, you listening to this? Huh? <laughs> Knows why I was on your stand all the time. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing here, now, lad. <laughs> I told you the accent will come out. So, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice It's quite color. delicate, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to use my finger, I don't care. Okay. It's okay. We always say what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. And just to remind anyone who's new to watching, this is all for demonstration purposes. If it gets eaten, it gets eaten by us, and we're very happy to eat it and taste test it in the kitchen. It's not for public consumption and it's certainly not for sale, so nobody needs to worry about anyone dipping a finger in and having a taste. As you've just seen, I put some in a bowl because <coughs> Vicky and Wendy are dying to get them. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Michael was wondering where it was going. <laughs> oh. That's good, isn't it? Oh, oh good. Yeah. yeah. So, it's really nice. You know what we're going to do now? We're going to. Before I start adding the biscuits inside, because this is actually, it's actually a chocolate Ooh, biscuit. Mm. That's not bad. That is nice. Yeah. Did you get a taste First of it? First time, huh? That is nice, that. No, Do you don't that? try it, Karen. You won't like it. It's absolutely disgusting. It's that burning. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. So, <laughs> so, okay. That's quite thick. This will probably thicken up also. Yeah. And we can still beat it up afterwards, you know. Yeah. Do you want to put it in the fridge for <laughs> Yeah, let's try and put it in the fridge. Bring yeah. it up a little bit. And what I'm going to do now... I'm just going to put that in the fridge for 15 minutes. Let me get your mixer out of the way. Um, or do you need the food mixer again? No, you can put it in. Just fuck it over. That's yeah. okay. Okay. I've not used this yet. <laughs> it's come back to you. <laughs> it's come back. It's just like... Um, <laughs> I'll show you to you. Yeah. Am I sure? Mary, just, I'm just going to run through a quick, few quick comments if that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, Sandy has just said she's never seen you blush, Carol, <laughs> but you have apparently you blushed then when Michael was talking yeah, about looking at like you. What was she blushing at when I said I'm looking at yours as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Lynn Woodward was asking, was it melted butter that you started with on the second? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. Still, but it, that was an accident. It's an accident, but it's also to show you how can you how you can. We're going to wing it. Get it back. Uh, get it back. <laughs> yes. And that's what I find is the best way about the patisserie. The moment that you respect the temperature, normally you should respect the temperature, but it's like a chemistry. So if you respect the quantities of the ingredients, then normally you can still wing it every time. Yeah. yeah. You know. So, okay. Um, so, what are, are you we? doing now? Where's the other one? Did we have one? Oh, oh, it's in the oven. What, the ring? Or yeah, it's in the oven. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to show you is how to prepare the ring. Now I'm going to, normally I should, I should show you this afterwards. But, we, uh, but I, I need this ring. But it's actually just to show you. This is, okay, this is a ring. Do you need that one? Okay. Look at that, amazing. Uh, she, doesn't, she does not sell these yet. Okay. Why should I be selling them? Yes. They are, it's a fantastic <laughs> way of making cakes really yeah it's really it's a great way of making cakes right and i'll show you how to do it uh you can bake your cakes in that you bake your sponges inside yeah. so you just put that onto the baking tray baking paper put your uh cake inside your sponge cake and it, fantastic okay why why is it so fantastic <sighs> you just got an even cooking and an even baking you know perfect and you just mm. cut around it simple and and also for the washing in the dishwasher you just have to work around that, that i might now understand why alexander sent me this and So that's that's I've done that so it's like that. Mm. that because it's yeah. hot. Yeah, that is hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it on the green board. Don't let it melt in. Will it melt? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> keep it in the tea towel. We're going to keep this in the we tea towel. You've been doing that. It'd leak out, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. You'd have to put. Um, no, I'll show you. Do you know what that's Even for? No, I don't. Go on. I don't know what it's for. Do you know what it's for? Yeah. Alexander oh, yeah. sent it to me, and that's... I said I want to start ordering, and I've no idea what it is. That'll probably be in the dishwasher, you know, when all the all the rubbish goes away in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not actually. Oh, it's, uh, it's it's probably a baking uh, baking form. Yeah. But I'll show you actually how we how we can use this because um, it's the same method as that. well. What I'm going to do here, you can use the same idea here. Oh. Okay, so that that's great. Oh, We've got that. There oh, you're yeah. going to have a fantastic bake with this. I'm sure you're, it's going to because it's quite even and the eating heat will go through. So this is 
do you have the blowtorch with you so I can kind of show you what the blowtorch is? I can show you what we can show you what, can show you what it is. Normally you use a blowtorch for this. Yeah, but she could bring those. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot to call it. We can't yeah. use it. Yeah, it doesn't work, but just imagine there's a flame coming out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's I don't know whether you remember, but Stop. I did say, you know, sometimes when you buy something off Amazon and you've got to have it the next day. Well, I've had this about five years, never used it, and last week I used it for the first time. But I had to have it next day delivery, like you do. Anyhow, it's backfired on me because it won't work. Yeah, but it says, please read all the instructions and remove this label before use. Do you think if we remove this label, it will work? No. <laughs> I'm pretty so, sure it's already been work. used. So <laughs> it, it's probably already. It won't so, work. So we, we put, think they'll have it back after five years sat in the cupboard. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try and send it back. Yeah. And that's for the interest. <laughs> yeah. So um, you got your ring. Uh, we put it in the, the in, in the grill on, in the yeah. oven to warm it up. Yeah, or you can just warm it up slightly with this. Okay. Yeah. Now what we're going to need is the cling film. And is that not going to melt on that melt on that hot thing there? It doesn't, does it? Yeah. No, yeah. it's quite surprising. It melt? She thought it was going to melt. You can put the film in the oven though, can't you? I, yeah. So this is can you? up to a certain temperature. Yeah. Can you? So this pair of scissors. I was prepared. I put the scissors next to me. How oh, exciting! Did you know that? No. 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 So I'm just thinking it's all going to melt. To stretch it, you can stretch it. Now the heat will. Stretch it. We've got his head under the camera again. No, it's fine. One. No, 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 it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> I thought that was the hot one. It is hot. No, <laughs> no I grab that. I'm just, this one is very, very hot. Just, okay. just to recap, there's no flour in this cake recipe. No, no flour no. at all. No flour. That's no flour fine. at all. Uh, if Are we going to get to taste this tonight? We're going to get to taste it. Oh. Yeah, and if, uh, if there was flour inside, um, <laughs> then you could put it in the oven and bake it. Mm. Yeah, so this, this is, is no a, bake, this is, is no bake. It's a cold cake. Yeah. So this is like this. So what we're doing is we're working upside down. Mm. Okay. So that bit there like that, and then you take your plastic. Sorry, I folded it in half. I didn't really. Is that why? <laughs> is that why there's a pleat? <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. So that's one. Is okay. that like an acetate that you just put? That's in an there. acetate. It's exactly the same as you can get here. Yeah. And you can okay. buy this off Amazon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's by, um, is it Terrafilm or something? Yes. Yeah. If it's too thick, you can, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you do that again? Okay. Do you do that when you cut it? Is that part of the uh, Yeah, the exactly, <laughs> exactly. Just so yeah. we know. Now, if you don't want to work with that wet method. You can work with this. You can work with this and just put it inside. Yeah, let's get it on there. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So we're actually now what we're doing is actually preparing the basis of the cake just to because I think that's the most important thing is actually knowing how to work with the chocolate decorations and everything will come after but you need to know how to, to make something you know mm -hmm. yes people can maybe a little bit perturbed uh, with working with the chocolate uh, if I start showing you the tempering and everything it, it finds it is frightening actually it's, it's going to be a long dem this this is going to be a long dem <laughs> it's not it, it's already it's almost finished you know so you have to let this go cold right okay uh, this is Let's get over there. We're going to get that uh, chocolate again. Yep, this one? Yeah, this one. Yep. Okay. okay. So how's our audience doing, Laura? Fantastic. Questions? Yeah, just a couple of questions. Yep. Um, what size is the tin or the ring that you're using, please? Use any size you want. Any size. So any size totally you want. Totally depends really on your recipe. Exactly. Um, yeah, that looks like an eight inch to me, though. And this is roughly... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's roughly about an eight inch. Mm -hmm. now. Um, I'm showing you different ways. You're going to get more mix here to actually to finish this off okay okay so we will have some left over and i'll show you what we did before with it now what you can do is that if you're using this one and you want to thick a cake then the recipe is perfect for you now okay you know? okay it's also a cake which is quite rich so you don't people you don't start cutting slices like that yeah, you have a slice like when you go to one of those um, very posh restaurants. Exactly. And like, an, like an afternoon tea time. You wonder yeah. what they're giving you, yes. why you paid a fortune for it, <laughs> but when you eat it, you're absolutely full and it tastes yeah. amazing. Yeah. And um, Michael did say earlier, and um, there's a, just a person who may have missed before, we have pop raw reds in the mix. They're perfectly safe to use. Um, Michael did explain before, it's a recipe that's been tried and tested for about many, many years, um, and they are perfectly safe to eat. 
but we also put warm chocolate in as well. So yes, so um, the residual heat. Yeah. Cooked yeah. you. Wow, that's a big <laughs> word. That's a big word. Go for it. So, <laughs> so, what are we doing so here, Michael? I'm using the original recipe isn't with uh, digestive, it's with rich tea. Right, okay. Okay, so if you've if you got rich tea, um, and also. Why rich tea? Ask, ask Her Majesty that. Right, Ooh, yeah. okay. The real recipe is actually with rich tea. Now what you can do, it's a recipe that you can add things to it. If you want to add raisins to it, you want to add some little currants or little cherries or Ooh. things like that, you can, okay, mm. which is quite nice. Now, if it also, if you're a um, gluten, uh, problem with yeah, gluten, you can't eat gluten, yeah. then you can, why not just put a uh, gluten-free biscuit? Yeah. Absolutely. So that's perfect, that's great. Mm. It's one of those cakes that's very easy to make. And how much biscuits are we putting in? Well, I'm being naughty now, I'm going to confuse everybody. Yeah. 400. Oh, we're gonna put okay. the whole packet in. Go, go, for whole packet, yeah. go for it, go for it. And if you don't want it as creamy, you can put more biscuits inside. Lovely. Mm -hmm. so, so it's, it's no problem. So it's, it's an adaptable recipe then? It's really, really adaptable. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we like. We love to give people a suggestion. Yeah. And we also love to hear everyone's versions or adaptations of it. And if anyone does follow Michael's recipe this evening, you make your own creation, pop it on our community page. We love to see everyone's attempts at what they've used. It's really great for us. And it's lovely for Michael to see as well. Um, we know you really appreciate his time here. Um, but we appreciate even more if you actually have a go at it. Yeah. So if anyone's on yeah, our All About Cake community easy, Facebook yeah. group, pop a picture on, um, pop a picture on, show us what you've done, um, and you know, like everyone can share the joy of the recipe, and we'll love to see your creations. It's really nice when you, we get a bit of feedback from everyone who's watched. Now, the great thing about this is, uh, we all love Molly's Molds. Yeah. This you can just slap in Molly's mould. Oh, can you? Yeah. Right. It's, uh, That's easy, isn't it? Uh, it's mm. easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. You don't even have to bake it, you know. It's great. It's one yeah. of those cakes. It's uh, everything you and can... And it's just going to set? It will set. It will set like this. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Who's going to have a look at the spoon? Carol. <laughs> oh, Wendy's got her hand straight up there. Uh, so, Wendy's hand went well straight, straight up. up. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going to do here now... You can put paper on the bottom if you want, mm. but that we don't need to do. For yeah. the simple reason is that these are perfectly fine food safe. Yeah. But the plastic inside, when this is cold, what you will do, you can warm it. Yeah. Yeah. You just even if you, you got the gas, you just warm it on the gas stove. Yeah. Yeah. Tip it up, and the cake will just come out. Oh, right. Very good. Okay. So if we go like that, are you? Can you see from which yeah. camera you're on? Perfect. Right? <laughs> I tell you, this filming business is tricky, isn't it? <laughs> is it? I'm trying to get past your frigging hand. Sorry. Yeah, do it that way. <laughs> more a, filming of your big hand than anything. It's a frigging hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's after nine o'clock. Only just. <laughs> what time is it? We have a child in the kitchen. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> uh, put a plug on, plug, plug up earplugs in. Is she now, is she now watching... Uh, is she now watching YouTube videos? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the best part, actually, when you're a kid, is actually to look it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know. Look, there's Where five of them sat here waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to make this spoon? This is the best bit. Don't, Don't be shy. shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> It'll go before you get a chance. <laughs> Mickey's, Mickey's eyeball in here. Um, Elizabeth Wedge was just asked, can you line it with grease proof instead of acetate? Or is it acetate because it's easy uh, to take off? <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't, Elizabeth, you don't even have to line it. Wow. Okay. You, because you put it in the mould and it, uh, it will set. Yeah. It will go firm. And then you just warm it. Perfect. And just sip it out. It will just fall out. Um, and Jane's just asked, will she be able to use a dairy-free chocolate? You can use any chocolate yes, you want. Absolutely. Any chocolate you like, yeah. Thank you. But it's always nice to use a quality chocolate. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You yes, get the best good. flavour of the quality chocolate. Oh, just to, is that good? Good. There, there's ten people who are actually licking their fingers. <laughs> you, know? you can hear all the noise in the background. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's simple, it's easy. That's all it is. Yeah. So when I was saying before... 
That you would smooth out a little bit more. That we're not going to bother about now, but that's it. That's okay. So is that's that going to go in the fridge? That'll go in the fridge. Yep. Okay. Super. Then what we to do so that's literally going to go into the fridge to set and it's, yeah. it's so simple and straightforward. So now what we're going to go, we're going to go back to the rose, to the ruby. Nice. Where's ruby wax? Is she still kicking around ruby wax? Mm -hmm. I met ruby wax once. Do you know what really? You yeah, I met, I was at... Um, uh, Is this going this, on the mixer? Yeah, we'll put that on the mixer, whisk it up a little bit. Um, we have a place in Belgium called Living Tomorrow, and inside this house, it's uh, yeah, it's called Living Tomorrow, and it was the it was actually Maybe called the it, like it was actually called the House of the Future, yeah. Okay. And uh, the ad, uh, Bill Gates came for his twentieth birthday at Microsoft, and I, I was asked to actually make the birthday cake for. For Microsoft for the 20, 20 years, and there was Ruby Wax there with uh, Bill Gates. Fantastic! So that, was, uh, that was one of the stories that I've. Oh. Yeah. So that's. I would be tempted, I don't know if, I don't know if you do that, maybe a little bit of colour or something, just to do You've seen the colour's gone. Mm. That pink is gone, hasn't it? Yes, but there was a dry bit in there, it came like that. Yeah. But you don't see those two dry bits that dry on that. top, and yeah. then pink again. Yeah. So I think we should leave it. We can leave that. So you're only mixing this just to so re-soften it, just because it's been no, a just to bit. kind of make it a little bit more hair. Uh, yeah, a it's bit thicker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. basically because we use very melted butter. <laughs> just to fluff it up a little bit. Fluff okay. It up. Just that one can go that way now. There's some more. Oh, show me your chest. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> now. Just because I've an eyeball in it all night. So. <laughs> This you can actually use also to fill. I'm going to taste this. It's not tasty, yeah. It's better now than it was before. Mm. The flavour's gone through. Yeah. Yeah. What could be good in this is that if you put in a. We've got the biscuits in again, but if you put in a little dried ris raspberries. Nice. And what you can find now is all these little um, freeze dried. Yeah. Freeze dried fruits. That could be real. That could be really great. You know. All right, so we're going for the 400 grams of biscuits then. We're going for 100 grams of biscuits. You know what we can do. What? So when you cut the cake, yeah. we can put some of these inside also. This will add a little bit of colour. I think that's going to be pretty good there. Because these, these have some... Yeah. You see that? Yeah, <laughs> these are. Yeah. Those, are absolutely, those are absolutely delicious. You've got Three. one there as well. I've got one where? Oh, one yeah. yeah. Makes I've it hard. Everywhere. Okay. My God. You and you, you want some marshmallows inside? It'll make it like a rocky road. No, we're making no, the it's queen's gonna, cake. No, I think it's going to be a bit sweet if we do that. We're making the queen's cake here, chuck it in. <laughs> okay, so for anyone who needs a recipe, we will pin it to the top of the Facebook page when we're finished on the live. Um, Michael did go through it before and someone very kindly posted it in the comments, but we know the feed moves really quickly, yeah. so it will have jumped down a little bit. Um, it's difficult for us to constantly keep recapping just because obviously we want to try and get Michael to do as much as he can within the time frame that we've got. So we will pin the recipe onto the Facebook page when we're finished. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, and it will also go over to our recipe website as well. Um, so for anyone who's missed that, we will make sure that we catch up and pop all the information on for you. A spatula, please. We've got another one. What's this one now? This is, how, many, how many of these have you got? This oh, has got a little cupcake with love hearts on it. Yeah, loads of us. So, uh, you might hear some munching soon because you know I always like to eat. Can you just show us the bag of the little balls that went in, please? Right. <laughs> we will be stocking these. And we at Calibo, I have, I have said to Calibo, I want to stock them, which is why they're here. So, they're called crisp pearls. Yeah. But I forgot to put them on the order. Okay. But I will oh. ring him tomorrow and remind him. <laughs> <laughs> but I will put them on. They actually taste. Uh... Yeah, so they've got like a wafer. Is it almost like a wafer inside them? Yeah. They're like yeah. a, a little rice crispies, but the thing is, they're, they're not. They're naughty. That's they're naughty, naughty because they're good yeah. chocolate. Yeah, but you sit. You can start eat, munching those, and you'll be in front of the television just. Oh, the whole bag's gone. <laughs> yeah. No, they're really, really naughty. Those. Uh... Pass them round. Yeah. Yeah. We've got people all round tonight. The bag's going all round. It's quite a 
quite an interesting mix this, isn't it's it? it? It is. Mm -hmm. We're going to blast this in the freezer. Yeah. So we'll see what nice happens. Nice to do something that we don't have to actually bake, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. And like Michael said before, you can adapt it with the type of biscuits mm -hmm. that you're using, for example. And that's a really nice suggestion, especially with the gluten free. You just slap it in like that. Just slap it in. Just so I know the technique. <laughs> do we need this mixer anymore? Um, <laughs> no. You can manage that on your back. We're actually wondering if uh, KitchenAid could sponsor me and make uh, a beautiful one, the same manner. Beautiful navy blue. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be nice. A navy blue one. So, obviously, when you're using a chocolate, you can actually mix chocolates. You can use white chocolate, black chocolate, you can use black or milk chocolate. Uh, the moment that you've got a good flavour in it. So let me, can, I'm just going to take the cup of tea, um, because we've got guests, yeah. we've got um, Barat Pavlova to give out and a cup of tea. So who wants a oh, cup of tea and who wants coffee? We start getting tea. orders now. As soon as we say we're putting the kettle on, everyone coffee. comments with their orders. <laughs> really? <laughs> so should, do you want who's... coffee or tea? And, uh, coffee. I'll ask for the sugars oh. in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go chop it Is that up. good? Mm. Yeah. So one of you two on coffee. So you would make this and you put it in the refrigerator and you can leave it there overnight or you can freeze it and just use it when you want. You know? So you and literally just packed it down. Just packed it down. Yeah. Just packed it down. Oh la. So for our guest tonight. That's gorgeous. Made isn't it? with our flavoured icing sugars. Yeah. And there's one which is hidden, nobody can see that yet. Though. Oh no, that's so, beautiful. This is so this one is made with our flavoured ice and sugar, just hold up there Michael. So yeah, I love pavlova. But then uh, Karen is making pavlova for fun. Where are those sprinkles? Where are those sprinkles? The Let's get some salt. Let's get some pearls yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> <Where's that> <laughs> <laughs> She's going to kill me if I'm going to start doing this. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So she's she's been practicing that's her technique. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 But that's not made with our flavoured ice and sugars. That's made with our new product. Exactly. Yeah. So we've got a new product about to launch. We can't tell you what it is, but this is what we made with it. And we're going to try it tomorrow. We're going to make other yes. things. Yeah. I've got ideas to really push this yeah. product. It's a great product. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm enjoying this. That's. That's really like in a French patisserie, isn't it? It's beautiful. Like, yeah, any patisserie would be fine to have that, you know. Um, can we put that in the freezer, please? <laughs> this Goddard has just said, how come you've got guests in the kitchen? I think I heard Wendy Campion laugh earlier, if I am right. <laughs> yes, Viv, you are right. We've actually got some ladies here that are on the classes over the weekend with Michael, so we've... Um, We've, been, we've got a crowded kitchen this evening. It's not normal. There's normally only two or three of us here. Is it really? And, uh, yeah, there's oh normally God. just Carol, myself and Maria. Mm -hmm. And a guest maybe. And sometimes Karen joins us, but that's normally a maximum. So yeah, the kitchen is full tonight, Viv. You are right. What do you need we're gonna make some, We're going to make a ganache. Yeah. So whilst that, thing, whilst that cake is in the freezer. So which ganache are you going to make? Um, we're going to make a, I'm going to explain it about ganache and how you can play with the chocolate. Yeah. Um, we're going to, no, that's not the ganache and that's not the ganache, that's for afterwards. That's, that's for, for uh, the decoration. Okay. Um, Sorry, here's the ganache. No, yeah. We didn't need to melt it. Can we, can we have the same weight without melting? Can we have the yeah. same weight without melting? Yeah. It's alright, we're just having a, a discussion, a, he, a heated discussion a heated in the kitchen. Discussion, let's, yeah. let's not worry everyone. It's a language. We've, we've got lots of chocolate, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Nothing goes to waste here. So with our new product <laughs> it's okay. that we're about to launch. I've been eating these. We will. Yeah, go for this one. Excuse fingers. We may as well make use of it, haven't we? Yeah. We're just failing for time. So by, we've Karen, some. <laughs> by Karen, very quickly. He's a weight watcher's one, by the way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's no calories ones. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> calories don't exist in this kitchen. Yeah. I'm just going to let me see what this is. 
Oh. So they're just sorting out their ganache. A bit of miscommunication. <laughs> Something barrier. like I had with who was it? It was in here the other week, and the only and I did the ganache. I did loads of it. Uh, Molly, I think. Yes. So I think we had about three three times the amount of ganache that we needed. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Everybody knows how to make a ganache. Okay. So this is like we're two parts. This is like two parts chocolate to one part cream. Okay, the cream is quite, it's different than our cream, it's quite thick, it's double cream. but it's okay, double cream, oh, okay, and um, ganache you can actually make with any liquid, you know that, so you can actually remove uh, the cream, and one of the best that I actually made was with actually beer, Fantastic. so you're not even using cream, just remove the quantity of liquid in replace of, of the cream. Oh. Oh, very yeah. clever. That's it. It's as easy as anything. It's so, so, if you want your ganache to be flavoured, you can either put grated orange inside or um, lemon and things like this, or you can uh, put spices, cardamom spices, and let it infuse into the cream. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put some cream in, uh, some tea. In. By the way, do we have a strainer? If we're going to, if I'm going to put this inside, what's it? A, a tea strainer or something. Tea strainer. I've got one. I do actually have you one, do. but I just have to run the next door to get it. Okay. Because so. um, we're going to let this, uh, uh, this is tea. You can use Earl Grey, you can use anything. Once uh, in Belgium, I made chocolates which were with different tea flavours uh, with Lapson, Lapson, Lapson Chouchon, um, green tea. And it, it was actually very flavorful. You got, and you can actually taste it. And then you would use different chocolates. Lovely. So that, would, that would be That's great. That's a lovely you idea. You can use all the different chocolates. You'll be using the milk. Uh, the black and from each tea you get a different flavour and it's absolutely delicious. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. So this is something that I've just found in the cupboard. So I don't know how long it's been there for you, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we actually a emptied, bit aged. <laughs> yeah, a bit aged. We, we, we emptied some tea bags. But it's actually better if you go to the uh, fine tea store and get some nice tea. Yeah. Yeah. But I can already smell this. Yeah. yeah, you can. It smells yeah. amazing in the kitchen this evening. All the chocolate that's here, the melted chocolate, the fresh chocolate, then obviously we've got the ganache going and the tea. It just smells amazing. Mm. So. so just as I said earlier, if anyone's missed any of the live this evening, you can catch up when we're finished. You can head over to our YouTube channel, which has got all of our previous Facebook lives on. This is my um, own special cup, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Laura. Or it will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page when we're finished this evening. But you do have to wait until we've stopped. This is my own special cup because I love Earl Grey tea. Yeah. Oh, God, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I was wondering why the, it had disappeared from at home, from my teapot. <laughs> <laughs> you normally use a proper sip, you know, as if you're using your... Uh... What? Karen. Right, what do you want oh. Karen for? No, get out of the camera. Who get out of the camera? Karen. <laughs> get out of the camera, Karen. You want to get in to say something whilst I'm just working? No, I don't even know why I'm here. Get out of the camera. Who's going to look after this and kind of warm this up? <laughs> so if anyone's interested in any of the products this evening, we have got the Calibro chocolate on the website. If any of it's out of stock, we will be replenishing the stock in the next week or so. So you can head over to the website, which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. We do have a Facebook Lives Must Have section, um, or you can search by brand or use the search bar at the top of the page. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we also are offering um, a competition. So, Calabar have very kindly put together a gift pack prize for us, which you can just see in the back of the shop. Um, there's a lovely mixing bowl, some packs of chocolate, some scrapers, um, and some gloves, a thermos cup, and that is up for grabs if you like and share um, our Facebook Live. So, all you need to do is like and share the Facebook Live, we will pop everyone's name in the drawer that's done that and we will draw the prize next week. So we always offer that week in, week out. It's normally a £25 gift voucher for sugar and crumbs, but we've very kindly been gifted a gift pack from Calabout Chocolate. So that really is a fantastic prize to win. And he's back. <laughs> There's a problem at mill. Oh dear. <laughs> There's never a problem. Don't there worry. is no problem at all now. <laughs> so like I was saying, there's this. I don't know how I'm going to manage with that. Never mind. Okay, we'll find out. Um, let's say with the plastic, this actually just peels off. 
Wonderful. Okay. Just have to be careful that you don't get any bits of plastic left there. There, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, can you just tell so, us what I'm going to do with this? Make it thinner or thicker? Uh, no, we just have to make it boil. Bring it to the boil. Okay? And then I need some grease proof paper or something yeah, on yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a fire on my hands. So, the advantage of doing it like that, that would, you would actually turn the gas upside down. And that's actually the. the it was your bottom, but now it becomes a ah, top. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. This has come off here. Yes, Bev, we will take into account all of the like and shares. So it doesn't matter which part of the, the Facebook Live you like to share. Everybody will go into the draw. I think what we'll do next week, because we can't spin them. Yes, we, we can't just, spin them. We'll write them down. We'll write all the names down and pop them in, into a hat. Yeah, that's the best way. So we're just waiting for the cream to boil, I think, at the moment. Yeah. Um, so Michael was explaining before um, that there's a few various ways to make ganache. If you want flavoured, for example, Michael's used Earl Grey tea. Um, um, you can use it. Michael mentioned it with beer before, which is really interesting. And I'm sure um, we'll have him back in the future and show us a few different techniques and ideas for that. I do want to come back from that place, that is. <laughs> Um, so if anyone's new to watching the Facebook Live this evening, um, say hi and pop your name in the comments. It's really nice to hear that we've got newbies watching us. It's really always great to see our loyal viewers as well. Um, if you are new, this is the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. It's a free Facebook Live tutorial and we normally go live every Monday evening and every Thursday evening at 8pm. Um, what we tend to do is just offer a range of different techniques, hints, tips, recipes, different ideas for you to try at home. Um, and we have Carol in the kitchen doing basic. Karen's been in and done basic baking for you before as well. Um, and we have, you'll have seen, um, we have various tutors and guests in the kitchen. Um, it's different recipes, different hints and tips to help. Um, so we like it if you basically take our advice, take the tutor's advice, um, suggestions and recipe ideas and make them your own. And like I said before, if anyone does want to follow Michael's recipe, we will post the full recipe for the chocolate biscuit cake. Um, tomorrow on our Facebook on our Facebook page, we will pin the recipe to the live, so everyone can watch it when you catch up. Um, there's a lot of people quite amazed, Michael, that your shirt is still very white despite all the chocolate that you've used. <laughs> don't worry, they're all black. Listen, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah, and Karen, I'm not. Sure, Karen that's... came in spotless. She's taking all the. Yeah, I'm making a cling film now. Let's make a film. Yeah. yeah. There you are. I'm gonna show you now actually this is why I'm making the ganache. I'm gonna show you how I actually build my cake up. So there she's got the cling film. So it's an overworked upside down. Yeah. Okay. You probably think they were not prepared well, but when you're not in your own kitchen. Or you, no, you see, you just have yeah. to stretch this. Okay. Now this won't be set today, otherwise we're going to be here until midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I've just ripped it there, so you can just either do it again or just stretch it so all. What you're putting in here now? So we're going to make the ganache. Right. I'm just going to do that again because there's an old. So when you're working in a professional pastry shop, pastry... You're you all enjoying your very gooey pavlova. <laughs> it's very gooey, isn't it? Is it good? Do you want some chocolate sauce for it? We've got plenty yeah. of melted chocolate ganache here. <laughs> Somebody asked us to melt it. <laughs> it's not finished yet. I'm trying to do 10 things at once. Oh my goodness. Okay, and you're oh running off all the time. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm because I'm helping off. Karen. Am He's I... doing 50 things at once. Am I allowed to tell her off? Probably the first one that's ever done it. <laughs> if you were in this kitchen, you would see what's going on at the other end here, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, yeah, this is unbelievable. It's the first shock. You don't really realise what you have when you come here, do you? It's, no. a, big, it's a big surprise, actually. And, uh, are you glad to be in the kitchen, Michael? Yeah. 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 How are you looking? Are you looking forward to entertaining all your students? 
I don't know, ask them, are they looking forward to be entertained? <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. the cat. See, I need to post some pictures of all the cakes. Yeah. So there you are. That's we are. Today. Let's have, uh, can I have those cakes also, please? Yeah. Okay. Do you want that slicer I had before as well? That lovely. No, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be now. Da, 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 da. There we are. Oh, let's copy this. <laughs> Got a clean one? Do you have a clean one at hand? Yeah, you've got one here. I knew I prepared it, you see? So, turn that upside down. Now this is the same plastic that we had before. Yeah. If Maria can make a video of this, I'd be amazed. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm just, she's going to... Uh, where's that silly tape gone? Someone did mention before, actually, that Carol gave up on the filming. Someone said before, Carol gave up on the filming. Of course I have. I don't know where I'm meant to be. Oh, I don't know whether I'm down his chair or up his chair. Where's that silly tape gone? I don't know. 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 So, okay, okay we want this It might be a three second video. <laughs> no, it won't be. So, this is the way I work. Okay. So, you have to see there, I don't know if you can see that, you've got some kind of. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we can see. Okay. Perfect. So, you know when you mask a cake, you build your cake up, you lay your cake up, yeah? Yeah. With your ganache. Yeah, you're going to try and get that in there. This goes inside, it's all been planned. So, yeah, so let's get that over there. I'm going to show you how I work. Yeah. Chocolate, I hope we have enough. Have you got enough chocolate in there, Michael? Well, I'm actually thinking maybe we've got a bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah can we remove a bit of that? How much do you want? Well, isn't that cream. your chocolate? No, 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 that's for something else. How much chocolate do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've got three days of this. <laughs> wants it back. I've got all day today. I've got three more days. You've got three more days? Three normally, more days. Normally, normally, normally I should sieve this. Huh? Can I ask what's in that saucepan? It's cream. We're not Just sure cream, ourselves. Really. We're not sure. No, <laughs> it's cream <laughs> mixed with, um, with tea, but the tea's so fine. So I'm going to mix it in, but normally I would pass the tea, so the tea would actually, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to burn my fingers for you. No. I've only got my special cup. <laughs> that actually smells good. So we're using the Calibo here, the Calibo mm. chocolate. Yeah. Like this. There you are, please. Just take out the top. Are. I'm glad we're keeping our audience entertained anyway, everyone's loving well, it. Well, yeah, it's got to be good fun, you know, we've got to enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. Just don't be prepared to be going to bed yet, it might be a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, there's a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, shit. I can't turn it properly, you know. This is where we make mistakes, you know. The cream here actually is different than what we have at home. It's much thicker. What was more upsetting then? What? Getting ganache on your on your jacket. Oh, rubbing against you. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is completely wrong. This is a disaster. Oh actually. no. That yeah, no, it's not a disaster. No, it's but, not. Um, it's going to come back together. Just keep stirring. Yeah, but it's not. A, do you have a way? We do. We do. That's actually, the, the whisk here is actually for something else tomorrow. There you are. Just hold that. I hope you're going to get yourself prepared for Sunday. It could be longer. <laughs> no, it won't be. No, yeah, Sunday's going to be enormous. It's going to be very long. <laughs> this is completely wrong. It's all separated. Okay. Was that cream fresh? Yes. yes. John bought it tonight. Yeah. Karen. Karen. Yeah. Do you want to add a bit of cold cream to it? Yeah, I want to warm that up a little bit as well. Yeah. I was going to say, but do you want to add a bit of cold cream to it to bring it back? Yeah. Chocolate everywhere. Oh, Sarah Saunders has said she's loving the live. It's so funny. She sat watching with a lovely glass of bubbly. We oh. love offering entertainment in here. The I know. Rooms, I'm so <laughs> glad we're amusing. Forget the baking. Forget everything else. <laughs> Are you lot full now? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have all, oh, all dirty pots? Let me grab them all together. <clears throat> we'll go to sleep tonight. I'll have a sugar high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I said, we'll go to sleep tonight. I'll have a sugar high. <laughs> so, for anyone who can't stay with us for this evening, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page. And it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well. Um, all of our previous lives are on our YouTube channel. So the easiest way to find us is to search for Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. Um, like I say, all of our previous lives are on there. As well as the one minute videos that Maria puts together which are fantastic. Um, the easiest way to, to see um, any new videos that we pop, pop on um, is to subscribe um, to, the, to the YouTube channel. Turn your notifications on on YouTube and you will actually get a pop-up when we put a new video on there. Um, so it's a fantastic feature as long as you don't get fine do being my Yeah, I think you have to turn your notifications on though as well because I turned mine off. <laughs> Because there's so many pop up. No, I know, but that makes sense because I wonder why some channels pop up and yeah. let me know they're playing and others don't when I'm waiting for them. Yeah, yeah. So Hopefully it's a fantastic them. feature. Um, I've just got to wish a happy birthday to Sarah. Sarah Saunders, it's her birthday. Oh, happy birthday, so happy Sarah. Happy birthday. Hope you're um, enjoying free entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and Vanessa Woods has put, she can't wait for Maria's one minute video. Now, I don't think that's. I think it's going to be good. Well. Yeah, I think they, that might be a bit of sarcasm there. Yeah. <laughs> Poor so, Maria. <laughs> absolutely. I know, I think she's going to kill me in the morning. So um, don't forget, like and share this live. What we'll do is next week, because the live has broken several times, I'm not going to be able to do the spinning wheel. So what I'm actually going to do is all the shares will all go into a, a big draw and then we'll just give it a shake. Yeah. And it's actually Maria who's going to be drawing next week. Yes. Because next, uh, there's no live on Monday because we've got Michael in tonight, Michael in on Sunday, Monday we're off. And um, I'm actually having a holiday. I'm not meant to be taking my computer or anything, but... If somebody wants to take me to the airport on, uh, or take me out on Monday and do something, they're <laughs> very welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we have to be the... We have a flight at six. I know you've got to be yeah. the airport for four, haven't you? Yeah. So, so there's no flight on... Uh, there's no live on Monday night. But Laura, Maria and Laura are in the kitchen on Thursday. And Maria's going to show you how to make her macarons. And then she'll, they'll put all the tickets in the drawer and one of them will choose yeah. for you. Yeah? Yeah, so don't forget to like and share. This is a great prize from Calibo and Calibo is sponsoring this tonight. Fantastic. Yes. So, to explain, as you saw it, everything curdled up and I said there was a difference. Just put some more cream in. N apparently it was um, extra double thick cream and we use single cream when we're making the ganache. So oh the, thick, the thickness of it actually kind of made it all go frigid. This is what you need, something like this. So do you use single cream then to make ganache? It's not really single, and it's, uh, it's a little bit more thicker, you know, but it's uh, it's not, the cream, the ingredients are different in each country you go to. So it's, right. uh, so what we're doing here, we're working upside down. Right. Okay, so here's your ganache. Oh, wait a minute, I'm actually filming this. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> can I go this way? No. Or, or you need to see that way? Where can you see, Laura? I can be overhead right and front, wherever you want me to be, I will be. Just let me get me on record. Okay. So. <laughs> this is a little bit more liquid, it's okay also, you know. You can open up that door, that front door, it's melted. You're melting, are you? <laughs> so remember what we're doing now, this is not the bottom, <clears throat> this is going to be the top. The top, yeah. Okay, right. yeah. And when you peel off the uh, the plastic you're gonna have this a cake which is completely um, smooth mm -hmm. top and bottom you don't even have normally you don't have to mask it to uh, coat uh, to smooth it afterwards we like that idea yeah so this is your cake so this was a sponge cake that you layered wasn't it earlier yeah so this is going I wanted something a little bit smaller than the ring itself but you're pushing that down you trimmed it didn't you trimmed it down yeah and what type of cake is this? This is a vanilla sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious it is. It's uh, oh, you can use a chocolate. Now if you wanted to make something like a I just to see, I don't know if you can see, but he has trimmed it so it's smaller so that you can see the chocolate coming yeah. around the side. Yeah. You okay. Can see, yeah. So now what you would do if you wanted to make uh, something like a tiramisu or something, you could actually not put a little bit of amaretto inside or something like yeah. that, mm -hmm. that, which is quite nice. Oh nice. Yeah. Or the cream of there, what we've made. Yeah. Before adding the biscuits. That you can put inside also. Mm. Build it up. Yeah. Work with the different chocolates and work with different flavours. Okay. So let's get inside there. 
this is a, I'm actually touching the other ganache, making sure there's no air bubbles. Okay. This is this cake is going to be very decadent with all the chocolate that's inside. So, and doing it this way, you don't have to let your ganache go cold and smooth it inside your cake. You know, this is, I think this is the easiest way to do it. It's, and if you want, you can make like a, a panna cotta or something. Put a panna cotta also inside. Oh, it's also very nice. Okay. Can we very quickly recap what we're doing or what we're actually making for viewers? I have no idea. We're actually making... Just watch and show There's a lot of people <laughs> saying, I've no idea what they're making, but yeah. I'm loving it. We've no idea either, believe me. We're winging this one. We're actually making an upside down cake. It not, was Queen Victoria's cake at one time, but I don't know as it is now. It's not a pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> now, the idea is to be able to keep... Something marvellous is going to happen at the end, isn't it, Michael? <laughs> this, this, this is where you're going to have to tune in on uh, on Sunday. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah, okay. because this, then this will have the time on Sunday to be able to set. Right, okay. Yeah. So they're not going to see it tonight. You're not going to see That's it tonight. That's way to get them all back on Sunday. Exactly. Yeah. And I've got to do camera skills again. Is she still unpacking? Yeah. Oh. She's moved into a new flat with her boyfriend. Oh. So they're moving both houses into one. This is and nice. deciding where both are going to put their stuff. I, su Ooh. I probably suspect Maria's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Today's conversation. Yeah. Okay, you it? Sorry. Yeah. If we did that, if we did the same with grain, with coffee, do you know ground coffee? Mm -hmm. You take ground coffee and you've got little grains of coffee inside the, that's, that's really good as well, that's delicious. Now that's not mould you see, that's, that blue is um, from the cakes that we were covering before. I can't even see the blue. You see the blue? No. You, you can't on the camera. You don't see that? <laughs> no. I see it. Shut your guard. <laughs> it's great to be back up north, isn't it? It is, it, it's, right, it's right, it's right, good, Alice. It, it is right. Can we move that ball? Move your ball, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We've got a few problems with people streaming on YouTube, but we're still on Facebook. We're absolutely fine. So you'll be able to, the whole video will be transferred to YouTube when we're finished. Uh, it'll probably be later on in the week, but yeah. it will be. And um, so we've got, put it all together. we've got a few people asking, will there be any lives over the weekend of what people have made in the classes? Yeah. Are we going to give a sneak peek? Yep. Yeah. Each night. Oh, is so? Yeah. Oh, no. Each night, John will come in and film each night. Yeah. Everybody's made. We'll have to do something different then every day. <laughs> oh, they'll be getting jealous. I know. In case yeah. somebody does better than somebody else. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. Sorry, I broke your bottle. It's okay. That you don't have to worry about neither. For example, if the cake is broken, you just add an extra piece inside and it will yeah. just fill it up. So it's but your extra pieces are there, so you'll pop them in. Do you make this very often? Yeah. This is this is a really good but my cake's not as good as this one. It's not as good as yours. <laughs> so yeah. how how deep was the sponge and how many layers had they been split into? Well this was just a no, this was just a normal um uh, Was it the one layer? Cake? The two layers did you use? No, it's just the one layer. I cut so. it into into five. So, so they're very it's so a, quite it's a cake thin layers. Thick, okay. And just put it into five, yeah. Okay. So the recipe oh. for that you can get from Carol. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 success. it's using your product. Success cake. So it's, uh, <laughs> so it's just a Victoria sponge cake. Yeah, it's very good. Now I'm a, I'm at the moment making busy making uh, cakes for uh, just had a friend. They they can't eat completely vegan. No. No eggs, no dairy, nothing, and they also well, gluten free. Cake, yeah, but no, the cake, the cake was good. The cake was really, really good. It's just knowing how to uh, make to, it tasty. No, you, you know, for example, if you're making a cake and you need to replace an egg, mm. then you'd use a banana. 
Oh, with you? Yeah, mashed banana with really? uh, yeah, and do you know the juice from? Uh, I love bananas. I might sound vegan then. Yeah, uh, the juice from uh, Aqua Bee. You know that? Oh yeah. Yeah, from uh, chickpeas. Yes. You mix that with your the juice there, not the chickpeas, yeah. just the juice and yeah. the um, and the banana. banana. Put it in yeah. your mixer. Yeah. Mix it up, and it comes up like a. Uh, it comes up so light. Really, really, really? it's really good. Yeah, and that will replace. You use the same quantity as the same. If you're making it's a. Not yours yet. Okay. If you're making a, <laughs> if you make, if you're making an egg, uh, you know, like uh, you weigh your eggs for your, the weight of the cake. Mm. You do it the same way, and then right. you just have. To, yeah, it's fantastic. I'll have a go at that. Great, great fun. I did live making meringue many years ago with aquafaba and our rice and sugars. Yeah. But I didn't realise how light it was and how you didn't have to bake them very long. So I went out the kitchen and left the oven on, I don't know, about half an hour, whatever it was, had gone. And I came back and the whole kitchen was full of black smoke. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> By meringues. So the idea what you can see, you can see it more on the side. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You can yeah. see, you can see on the side, you've just got oh, ganache. Oh yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's so the, so you can see that, yeah? So the idea of that is that when it's cold and we turn it upside down, you just remove the plastic. Yeah. And your ganache is just perfectly. So we're going to show them that on Sunday when it's set. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in the late. morning because if it's not, if it doesn't come out perfectly, we'll have to make another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> These lot will be here in the morning watching. Yeah, but maybe they want it for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make another one. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. More chocolate on that now. No, that's perfect. Um, we can build it up until we've used all the ganache. Yeah, we'll make but uh, we don't, don't have any biscuit. It. Okay. Well, yeah. We may as well just yeah. put the chocolate Let's on and it use it all. Otherwise, it could be nose diving in the night in a minute. We don't want to fall that you're missing the class tomorrow. No. She, so I've been watching her eyeball everything. <laughs> so we'll just give her the finger, the, the bowl, so she can just wrap her finger around that. Okay. And can I have a spatula, please? Yeah. I'm going to do a, a, an exchange. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, that's yours, Vicky. You can go now. So the, go, we saw the well. ganache had kind of separated. Yeah. You bring it back, you warm it up a little bit in the microwave and we add a little, little bit of milk yeah. and just whisk it and it came out perfectly. Yeah. Now, when this ganache is cold, uh, if it was left in the bowl, what you could do is you could put it in your, ke in your Kenwood or your mixer and make a, just beat it up like a, like a truffle. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is a... Yeah, don't ever throw it away, you can use it. We actually use it as uh, at home. We use it as chocolate spread on toast. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, yeah, and it's roughly just after a heavy meal. We eat that uh, just before uh, turning in for in, turning into the night. You know, right? <laughs> chocolate on toast. I like chocolate on toast. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Have we done? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Have to give it a bit of shake. Yeah. Mm. I would finish this with a bit of biscuit normally. So is that tonight's live over? Or have we got more things to show? No, I want to, you want to, you want to get on, what time is it? We've got to finish something, haven't we? From yeah, finishing? I want to finish yeah. this. Yeah, great, great. Yeah, I want to finish that. The, uh... Are they staying with us? Yeah. Are you staying seven, with us? Seven, quarter yeah. to ten. Oh, is it? Yeah. Quarter to it ten. Quarter to eleven when we're done. But... Well, maybe not though. <laughs> <laughs> Are you staying with us? Let us know. No, I'm going home. <laughs> Unless they want us uh, to finish it. Uh... No, no, come no? on. Yeah. Keep going, I'm only winding okay. you up. Now what you You're can do nowhere, what you can course. what you can do with this, if you want it to finish, for example, this this what we've made here, this chocolate cake biscuit, you put it in between the paper. Two pieces of paper sheet with a biscuit mix inside and roll it out until you get a very thin layer. Mm -hmm. And then put that in the fridge to make it cold. Put it out round and put it in, put it on the top. Ah, okay. Oh, almost like you would like a nugget, almost like a nugget layer where you cut it out. Yeah. With yeah. a disc. Yeah. Exactly. That's a great That's idea. It's a great way to use it. Fantastic. Where's that really nice idea? Fridge or freezer? Um, you can put that in the fridge. Pass it, Pass it to that lady over there. She'll pop it in the fridge. Okay. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Um, let's. Wait, wait, I'll do that. You can wash your hands. Okay, thanks. We're gonna need some chocolate now, too, please. Really? Yeah, I said please. I said please. I did say please. Shouldn't want to melt your chocolate anymore. So, so Michael's showing us, showing us various techniques, hints and tips this evening, quite a few different ideas. So the chocolate biscuit cake that Michael made earlier, and um, the recipe will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page, and um, it'll probably be tomorrow um, when Marie is back for us. Um, and Michael's also gone through the um, sponge cake with the layering of the ganache, and that's going to set basically in the fridge now. And what we'll do is we'll do a quick Facebook Live on Sunday and show you the finished product. And Michael will show you taking it out of the cake ring and taking the acetate off. 
um, and that will be the finished product of that one. Um, what are we going to move on to? What we're going to do now, we're going to actually show you how to start finishing this cake. Oh, yeah. the chocolate biscuit cake, wonderful. Chocolate biscuit cake. Uh, the other one will be, we'll finish the pink one, uh, we'll do the dark, the dark chocolate and then we'll finish the pink one. Lovely. Uh, afterwards, so at least we're going to see everything together. And okay. then I think on Sunday what we'll do, we'll have everything together. Yeah. All these little things like a, a French patisserie. Oh, nice. Because what I'm going to show you on uh, on Sunday is actually how to make a pop and bouche. Oh, lovely. Yes, which is a complete... Uh, I'm the only one actually, the, the technique that I do, um, it's going to be quite interesting for you all to see. And very Wonderful. tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's so we'll have like a French patisserie to... Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're not doing royal well icing on Monday, on Sunday, though. making a cock and bouche. A cock and bouche with uh, and with, push, with sugar and. So we're not doing royal well icing Sunday, just so we know. We may do. We may do. I think we'll just keep to the cock and bouche. Yes. Yeah, if anything bouche. else happens, it happens. <laughs> right. Good. So what are we so, up to now? So. Do we need to clean this? Yep. Yeah. Just get something rid of the pumps on the floor. Shh. <coughs> so these are actually. Um, We don't have a marble slab, but we'll do actually what it was too heavy to carry. So we're just, <laughs> we're just actually using uh, a floor tile. Floor tiles. And these are perfect. Don't worry, no one's walked on them. They were spare from my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new out of the box. Yeah. We no, went to, we got a massive big slab of marble in the shed, and then we couldn't get it out because it was locked in by something. So we came up with this idea. And yeah. um, so our live on Sunday will be at eight o'clock as usual. Yeah. Um, Michael has a class here on um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's a Can very again, busy please? weekend for him, um, oh, but we yeah. are keeping him in the kitchen. <laughs> We're not letting so, him out. <laughs> uh, we've just washed this, but the thing is with chocolate, you always have to make sure that you don't have water. Because if you have water with chocolate, then it's going to go hard and set, and that you don't want. So I'm making sure that this is dry. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, I'm going to go that way. So this is a uh, same plastic. I need a palette knife, so we'll please, please, please. What size palette knife do you need? Uh, uh, a little bit bigger, the same one. The one that I used before. Karen, have we got the palette knife that Michael used before? The big one. The, I think it was an angled one. Yeah. yeah You can use this actually, but I, I prefer to, for the next step, we're going to use the other one. So, do you see that? It's yeah. going to be there. Can now, yep. Fantastic. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to coat this with chocolate. Okay. And then instead of starting going like this, you walk away from you and you put it towards. Okay, you follow that. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so this is just melted chocolate. Okay, it's almost tempered there actually. But the chocolate has to go onto this plastic sheet. Now what you can do, you can do different designs of chocolate. You can put white chocolate on it, different designs. Uh, this is the easiest way to cover this, to go around the cake. I'm actually wondering what chocolate, which chocolate do we use in? Oh, okay. This is one from Calibot anyway, so. Yeah. Karen, which chocolate was this that you used to melt? Excuse me, the 811. This is the 811? Yeah. We say in French, we say 811. We're sticking up with the 811. <laughs> <laughs> so, just got to take this from here underneath. You clean it off, huh? Oh, look at that. That was good, doesn't it? on the back, which it is to the cake, and all the way around, okay? That now, this cake had come from the freezer, it would already be, it would already be setting. Yeah. So it's room temperature now, so it's going to take a while. So what we can do, we can get it back in the freezer, mm -hmm. and then we'll work on the next step. So we'll just pass it to our friendly assistant <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> there are those reasons why there's people in the kitchen. <laughs> The freezer's, yeah. on, the freezer's on the other side, the small door. What are we doing now? So, I'm going to start preparing with it. No, no, no. 
chocolate never gets wasted anyway because right. you just oh. have to make sure storing chocolate you just have to make sure that it's in a good conditions you know you wouldn't put it in the refrigerator it maybe takes yeah. smells just keep it in an airing cupboard wrapped up well and uh, do you want this do you need this one out michael this cake out Michael, do you Sorry? want this cake out? No, no, no. Let me just see what okay. it's like. Oh, that's not, that's awesome, that. That's going to be fun. How, how long do we have? How long do we have? Yeah. How long do, do you do want? want? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to mind, my back's broken and I'm about to kick one of these ladies off a chair. And I'm up at six. <laughs> and I'm up at six. six. <laughs> You're up at six, are you? Oh. No, but honestly, we've got, you know, whatever you want to do, within reason. Okay. <laughs> because people are yeah, loving keep it, keep it in the picture. The sorry, in the freezer, yeah, sorry. So, what we're going to do now, I want to make like, um, like a fan go to the chocolate. Oh, so, lovely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to be working, normally you'll be working on a marble table. So we're actually going to be working on the table top, on the table top here, on these tiles. Now, this is going to be too thick to work with, so I did take some. So would you like us to melt it again? No. Can you pass me? No, just stay where you are. Don't move. I'm not moving off the chair no more. I've done it. Looks like white wine. Eh? Looks like white wine. Keep them busy. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them busy. So. Um, just as a very quick recap, Michael Lewis Anderson's in the kitchen with us this evening. Um, we know lots of you have been looking forward to having him here. We've got a Great full fun. weekend. We've got a full weekend packed of classes. So Michael's doing some fantastic content of Royal Icing. We've got ladies here in the kitchen who are on the course with him um, tomorrow, are you all excited? Sunday. Yeah. Very, very excited, aren't you, ladies? <laughs> yes. so we've got a kitchen full this evening. How many and people is in here, Laura? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine. ten, eleven with you. With me, eleven. Wow. <laughs> Fabulous. It's a very full kitchen. So yeah, we're not normally like this. So uh, if you've tuned into our Facebook lives before, it's just normally me, myself, me, uh, Maria and Carol, a guest if we've got a guest, um, and at the very most, Karen to help us out, or John popped in and out. Um, I think he stayed well away but tonight. But he, he has stayed well away tonight, yeah. So I popped in before the live and, and very quickly went he out. He came in, he fed everybody and he went. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're new to watching the Facebook Live, it's a fun, friendly and informative it tutorial. Fun, it? it really is. And we yeah. always like to keep it light-hearted. Of course, we always, you know, much appreciate our guests that come in and offer their advice, their hints and their tips. But we love to keep it light-hearted and fun and friendly. Um, and that's what the content's about. You know, of course, when you've got um, methods and techniques to go through, that's what we concentrate on. Um, but in the meantime, it's all about entertainment and we basically want you to enjoy what you're watching. Are you not enjoying it or are you falling asleep? Yes. No. no. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kept them fed. Kept them fed. Don't forget, like and share for this prize. Yeah. Fabulous prize. The whole load of goodie bags off um, Calibo chocolate and they've given us all the chocolate for tonight which is very generous of them I'm giving you this and I'm scoffing this <laughs> <laughs> so here we go right Michael so here we are okay just the melted chocolate okay if I put this directly onto the onto the marble slab it's going to go hard and we don't want that okay so we'll put a little it's not it's not champagne or uh, whatever. I know, it looks it's like a nice white wine. It does, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's quite tempted. It's oil. I'm glad I did it's it. It's oil. <laughs> yeah, vegetable oil. Um, no smell. You want something neutral because you don't want to take a... Uh, so you just put a little bit in just to break it down. And what are we going to do with this? This I'm going to then put on here. And then I'm going to have to really work hard with it. This is one of those things that when you do it the first time, it may not work. It may not work. So you have to remove it from the table. And then redo it again because the consistency of the chocolate it's just to get that chocolate right you know it's with, it's with the eye are they all still amazed that michael has it covered anything yeah they said before. can you just mention that me and karen are oh yeah you take <laughs> a minute <laughs> for him <laughs> quite no. clever you are yeah you've done that tonight that i am <laughs> that you look immaculate and we're covered it's unbelievable it. isn't it karen can't even bring herself on camera she's got that much on oh, bless <laughs> <her>. <laughs> all over the place yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> you, what's good is if uh, I don't I don't know if we have this in England um, oil from um, walnuts. You know walnut oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So walnut oil mixed with the chocolate. That is. Oh, is that's it? pretty. Yeah, that's really really good. It's going to be a massive surge on walnut oil tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. No. Tomorrow she's going to be having walnut oil <laughs> or in Asda or wherever. We'll find it. We've yeah. got enough posh little delis around yeah. here. It will be some sort of delicatessen. It will be. There's yeah. a nice one on, in Didsbury, mm. actually. I bet they've got it. Mm. Here we are. We're, we're getting there. So this is oil that Michael's adding to the chocolate. Um, it's flavourless oil, so any sort of vegetable oil or anything like that. It's not castor oil or cod liver oil. <laughs> so, oh, do you remember those cod liver oil tablets? Did you ever get fed those as a kid? Oh my Listen, God. I had a big, I had a big lug of castor, castor oil. My grandma told me to bring my tw my babies on because I'd gone overdue. I was twin. I was having twins. I was two weeks overdue. Yeah. And she said to me, take some castor oil, Carol. I took the castro, believe me, those twins shot out <laughs> <laughs> within 12 hours. I would never recommend it. No, I delivered no, no. one in the hallway. Oh my god. <coughs> That's how fast they were. <sighs> yeah, apparently yeah. walnut oil is sold in Sainsbury's Asda or Tesco. Ah. Oh. I don't know whether anybody wanted to know that information under the room baby so quickly. Well, but I did, I did have bonny future. twins. You can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to put your pull for there a little oh, bit. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. And um, it's the way to do this. Let's do it this way. I just want to get the you get the best filming. So get it across there. Okay. So if this is going cold, you can still want to re warm it. Okay. Across there, and then you have to go like this. Why do you have to do this? You're going to see what happens. We have to make it. Um, you could have made me feathers for me swan from this if you'd use right. I could. We're going to get that, that swan that you're not having. Eh? The swan that you're not the swan having. that we're now not having. You will get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling him for weeks. He said, What do you want me to make a swan? <laughs> and I thought, Well, somebody else is always making And I don't want to make. I don't. I've had all sorts of pictures of swans oh, no. from Michael with crowns on and everything. And he comes on, he's making some of the other queen. Of course, well, you're a queen. I know, but I didn't know I liked that. Aww. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So this is actually going to start going cold. If it's a marble table top, it will go colder quicker. And I'm just wondering how I'm going to work with this in a minute. Because I need to go there, so. Yeah, you can actually see the colour changing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the shine's going. You can actually, it can actually do with a little bit more oil inside. I'm going to make it block, actually. You can see it go into a block. Mm. Yeah. It should work. Let's so, hope. Are we winging this again? This is winging it. Yeah, because <laughs> this is not good. It's too warm, this. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, it'd be my fault. I'll be having to get out of my What did we have before? Yeah. Oh, we had that, we had that hot wing, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly Paul are going to be watching this and they're going to kill him. They're going to kill this guy. What are you doing? What the blood? What's he doing? No, Listen, that we're doing there it is our, too thick, actually. We're doing it our way. Yeah. And I don't have the right material. I don't have the right marble slab, and, and normally I would have a space don't like this. Don't blame your tools. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Should we ever work with anything under pressure? Me? Yeah. Come oh on. You should know all the tricks. It's looking very cold to me, that. We're getting shavings of chocolate chucked at us over here. Are we? Are we getting shavings of chocolate over here? Do you want to see how quickly top chocolate melts at the body temperature? <laughs> Comments, feedback, Laura, how's our audience doing? Fantastic. Um, yeah? Esther has just put, why do I find this so satisfying to watch? <laughs> it's like one of those YouTube videos, yeah. isn't it? You know when you watch like putty going yeah. through a mixer or something <laughs> random like that? And that, it just, just mesmerised me to watch. And who was that that said that I had a sexy voice? Oh, I can't remember oh, who it God, was. Oh, that sounds... Oh, don't worry, you've not just had one positive comment tonight, you've had quite a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it helps. Quite a few admirers. 
And it's funny because I don't like to look at it afterwards. Huh? It's like when I'm in the newspaper or on the, do something like that. I don't like to rewatch it. No. No. I must admit, I don't watch any of the lives no. anymore. I, I used to watch them. I, well. I can't stand my own voice yet. No, I can't. I can't stand my own voice. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. So, cake, please. See, you Maestro. knew what you was doing, didn't hey, you? Maestro, cake, please. <laughs> Maestro, come on. Put you to work. You were just blagging us there, weren't you? <laughs> no, I wasn't actually. Because <laughs> I did say that you can add more oil. Yeah. No, the, the chocolate one, please. Oh, yes. Right. How many have you got? How many? Yeah, I was just going to ask. <laughs> you got do you know what you can show me? Um, it's the ones that we did with the rest of the biscuit. Because Stop. people are asking me what we'll do with it when we've got too much left over. Okay. Um, yeah. I just feel, I've just filled some up inside here. Oh, lovely idea. Yeah. So you can, if you have, you put this on your um, baking tray. Pour chocolate over it. And just pour chocolate mm. over it. Or your ganache, which would be... Mm. And then you would get these little naughty bits and just go a little around the edge. Mm, That's yeah, a job for you to be doing tomorrow. Very nice. Karen. Would you like to taste those ladies? <laughs> oh, so now, back to this. Uh, here we are. So let's try and find the seam. Here we are. This will come off. You see? Yeah. Okay. Can you just drop that down? I've missed that for me filming. She's going to get mad. Yeah. Just reverse. Go back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm used to this. I missed this. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then back. And then we just. She's going to go mad when you Just you're click here. it. Do you see? I reckon it? I'm going to be sat. You seen the scene? Yeah. Just okay. drop it down for me now. That's it. <laughs> okay. Just now. Oh, good. That. Yeah. Wait a minute. That. Come down. Come down. That. Yeah. I have to say. Do you have a Do you have a nice clean board, please? Uh, yeah, we have our our friendly assistant who's covered in chocolate has got Thank you. everything organised. Yeah, Karen. <laughs> so there you are. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. I love that round the side. Isn't that lovely? That's easy, neat? isn't it? Can we, can we just bring it into the middle puddle, please? Yeah. yeah. Can Low down. Show them. There you so are. So underneath this camera That's here. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. This can you finish, show it yeah. to me? Everyone needs to see. Yeah, that's mm. great. And if you, if the thing is, if you could smell what we can smell. Yeah. This is. So now this is one of. This you can also buy. And then. <laughs> it's what? This you can also. Buy. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually for stripping. <laughs> yeah, stripping paper. Stripping we bought five of these cheap from the co-op. This is from. <laughs> this is from the stripper. <laughs> <laughs> so. You got different sizes also, uh, yeah. okay? This is, so this it, was is it a pack of three or a pack of five from the co-op? Oh, no, that was the brushes. It? Yeah, oh yeah, we got a pack of five brushes from the co-op. Asda. Asda, yeah. Is Asda? Yeah, yeah. it's Asda. Yeah. Okay, so. And these were a pack of three. You have to put your finger here. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, and okay. start from there. Yeah. And wow. you get a curl like that. Okay. Ooh, that's amazing. This is just going to go. Oh. And we put the bit inside there. I don't, do you see that there? I cannot actually. Um, I can put no. that there. Is that okay? Yeah, that would yeah, be yeah, amazing. That's okay. Put. Beautiful. Wow. Right, wait there to see if I can fill this. <laughs> it's back so it's broken. Is it? Oh. Okay. Oops, shit. Excuse the <laughs> French. She parle très bien français. Okay. Okay. I think Caliber might might sack us afterwards. <laughs> you know that visit we were supposed to be going to. Yeah. Well, it might have just been cancelled. You need actually a little bit more oil we're inside. We're going to be star guests us in a few weeks. <laughs> when are you going? We're going to. Bit, we've been invited to the Academy Caliber Caliber Academy. That's great. Yeah. But when are you going? Sixteenth of March. Sixteenth of March. Where am I? Sixteenth of March. Oh, I'm at Caliber. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely going to cancel us now. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, if you come, do you want to come? 16th of March. Where is it actually? Oxfordshire, Bamborough. Okay. Bamborough is like Bamborough Cross. Um, wherever Bamborough is. No. Bamborough is in Oxfordshire, isn't Oxfordshire, it? Oxfordshire, yeah. 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 
that's hard when I do. Yeah, that's that's hard, isn't it? Beautiful. I tell you what, you've turned up Trump's shoe. I've turned up Trump's yeah. Okay. It's one of those things that is all now coming together, isn't you it? You can stay it now. You, you're saving the day. I wasn't quite sure what we were going to get at the end of this live. <laughs> Oh, Jay McDougall's just said we are learning from the master tonight. Absolutely. Oh, that's oh thanks. Well, I hope you've all had a great time. It has been fun in here tonight, hasn't it? It does. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you as an audience have had a great time. It is hard to put things under pressure like this, isn't it? And yeah. poor Michael has had no sleep, believe me. I was talking to him last night and um, he, he's, um, he's um, you've had a job come in last night that you had to prepare, didn't you? And I said, I'm going to bed. He said, well, I've got to stay up till three, four, doing these, and then you were going straight to the airport, right? Yeah. Then here, then he's had, took him out for his breakfast, and then he's had 25 dummies to No, the, bre the breakfast wow. was the best part, because yeah. she, she was taking me out for an English breakfast, a full, uh, full augment, uh, everything, you know. And what do you want to eat? I said, oh, I'm going to take the avocado on toast. Oh, oh you're yeah, quite. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't any smoked salmon. I oh, like smoked salmon my shame. It. And then Karen has done all the boards, God bless Karen. And uh, Michael's had to come back. And Michelle helped. And, and Michelle yeah. helped, yeah. And then, um, yeah, Mich Michelle's been like rolling paste all day, hasn't she? She's had, yeah. Yeah. And then Michael's had to come in and cover the drums. Karen, uh, Karen has had to uh, put all the ribbons on, haven't you, Karen? Mm -hmm. I don't think Karen ever wants to see a blue dummy ever again. <laughs> Do you want to You're calling me a blue dummy now? <laughs> do you want to pass one so we can show what Karen is but not so seen? yeah what we're going to do also we're going to rewarm this yeah. can you this. just hold are oh, you free Carol just to hold that no. cake up just so we can see so just let me just show you. so there's been 25 of these made in class today so um, ready for the next three days of classes so that's how many students he's got in so there you go Fantastic. <laughs> all hard work with Karen Michelle and, and then, do you want to see where we're up to with this? It's yeah, the first so time, no? It's the first time you've done royal icing. Yeah, and the, they're actually going to be before. learning how to do so things we would learn It's going to melt some more chocolate to make some more Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you see that okay? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what do you need doing now? Do well, you need the chocolate melting again? We're going to melt that again. And I'm going to show you what happens when we have a little bit more oil inside. Are we still amazed that he hasn't got any on him yet? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You haven't got one bit on you, have you? No, look at the oh, pants. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. On his shirt cuff. Oh, on his shirt cuff. There. That's just, nothing. I just washed that shirt for you tonight. <laughs> and there is a bit on his jacket. You've missed it, but there is a bit. I tell you what, it wouldn't be like that if I was wearing white. Trust me. <laughs> it wouldn't be like that if any of us were doing it, would it? Yeah, sorry. I'm going to have Do you want to go wash your hands from? Do you want me to clean this up? Um, yeah, just scrape it a little bit, please, yeah. Okay. Chris Moore has just put, I live on my own, think my neighbours, um, Chris Moore has just put, I live on my own, think my neighbours will wonder why I'm crying with laughter, so I'm glad we're uh, keeping you entertained. I'm just trying to suss out what Vicky is trying to tell me. Sorry. Sorry, have you tasted the biscuit cake? It is have I tasted it? Yeah. Oh, well, yes, because he's just done the sample. Is that all I got left? Yeah. Oh my God, it's delicious. <laughs> when you taste yeah. it, you'll know why. That's why there's 11 in the kitchen and I got that bit. No, it's a taste to that. Mm. Uh, have you ever tasted it? I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Now do you see why there's only that tiny bit? That is good. <laughs> That's good, that is it. Yeah. Mm, what's in that again? Uh, 200 grams of... Butter. Butter. 200 grams of sugar. Two, two eggs. eggs. Four 200 grams, grams of chocolate. chocolate. And, and 400 four grams of, of biscuits. Biscuits. Rich well tea. That is good. Oh. I'm sorry, nice. didn't get No, it's okay. It's just, just see it. Just see this. It's good. As that you know, is good. I don't eat chocolate. You know how you, you know? Yeah. And I don't. Can I just tell you, you know, for you lot coming to this live tonight, so tomorrow you need to be at eight to clean this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the deal that you had to come here tonight. Why we go for breakfast? Yeah. Can you go as an at seven, don't we clean it? So, so you're going to see now that I'm doing it with a little bit more oil in to see how 
I can get it much thinner and you get it more delicate. You know, you get it more delicate and... And just, just to confirm, anybody who's not here is in class tomorrow. The class starts at 10. So don't get here for 9. I'm only joking. Karen is in at 7. She's cleaning. We're going for breakfast. So anybody who's here tomorrow, if you can get here for about 20 to 10, we'll do nicely. The email does say... Yeah, the email doesn't. I know, but we've just delayed it. Oh, okay. Just, these, just now. These two are knackered because they've had a long journey. Okay. So, <laughs> just joking. Just joking. I also know some people are watching who are coming tomorrow. So can we make it 10? I'm going to do something now. Well, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of... Um, we're going to melt the pink, melt. the ruby. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we're going to melt the ruby because <laughs> uh, I want to get. I want to do something else rather than just that. This is playing. We're winging it. Okay. You would remove it, then you'd have to put a little bit more chocolate if you have too much oil inside. Okay. Uh, but it, you can. It's one of those things. You just have to test, see what's the best. It depends on the marble. It depends on the uh, temperature outside. You know. So it's um, the chocolate just has to be melted. Uh, just warmed you know you keep it you would in a professional kitchen you would have a warm cabinet actually so you would keep your chocolate inside this warm cabinet and it stays like that all the time mm -hmm. so when you need the chocolate you would just take what you need and use it you wouldn't have to spend your time warming it like we're doing here so, so, so alex has just asked does the oil change the taste of the chocolate uh, is that uh, alex who's coming tomorrow no. um it would the the oil is neutral, so you will not you're not do you want to taste it and see? You just give you so a, it's a flavor. You're, <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna, oh, you're not gonna taste it, anything. The oil is neutral. It's well. it's a so there's no the oil. <laughs> If you're gonna use an oil which is uh, with uh, with knots, like we're talking no, about delicious. then it would be uh then you'll taste it. Yeah. yeah. Sticking your finger in but then you're working a, <laughs> then you're working in the sense that you would want the knots to give a flavour to the chocolate. Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's an intention, in isn't yeah. it? If you're, if you're doing um, it with like the walnut oil, like Michael mm. said before, that's an intention to, to make that flavour. I'm looking for the role of Peridus. Um, but yeah, if you're using yeah. any any other like a vegetable oil, it's cake. a flavourless oil. Please. Um, so Sharon Rose just said, can you not keep the chocolate warm in a slow cooker? So just to keep to maintain the heat. Do Mm. Um, yeah, why not? There's, uh, you just have well, you there's no water in the slow cooker. No, there's no, no water. No. No. no, no. So it should be it should be yeah, okay. But you have to, to always it. be careful that it doesn't burn underneath. Yes, yeah. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. You have to be stirring it all the time, wouldn't you? Thank yeah. You very much. What about the melting pots? Would they work? I think it would work the same way as the slow yeah, cooker. Yeah, yeah. I think chocolate yeah. milk. So the bottom of it would get hotter first, yes. wasn't it? Mm. So you would have to keep. Michael, it's done, but this bowl is very hot. Okay. Well, do you just put it down for a minute then, so you don't have any hands? Do so, do you see everything? Yeah. Yep. Okay, you're out. Go on to the... So just remind us, this So is this is the, the pink one the that we made with the we, ruby chocolate. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to yeah, do the same as this. Pay, I think that, doesn't it? Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be nice when it's yeah. caught. I will say it did yeah. taste very nice. And you can it? see the crisp pearls at the bottom. Oh, should I be filming this? Don't yeah. take anything off. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Forget yourself. Anyway. I know. Full sympathy for Maria trying to put this together. It's after 10, we can be. She's going to kill me. I've realised I filmed it on my own phone. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm already seeing that that's, look, that's going to look nice with those little beads. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. And you're going you're gonna to eat that. And you're going to get those little balls, which are mm. bursting, you know, and quite tasty. So. I should didn't film it. Oh, she did didn't film me. it. No. You want to do it again? I forgot to press start. Okay, here we go. So, <laughs> I'm used to doing TV, so I know what it's like. Wait, wait. So, yeah. So, here we go. There we I'm go. just going to remove this. Okay. Can you bring there it down go. here? You want me to do it again? I do, unfortunately. You <laughs> You're lifting it five foot off the air. My back's gone. Right, can we do it properly this time? Okay. Right, you film it there at that level. Right, go. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go around this way okay. so my hand is not passing in front. Super. There you go. Why didn't Isn't you that professional? Yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> Amazing. So, a piece Ooh. of paper, please, again.
We're going to do the same. We're going to do the same with in pink. Do you not need a bit more brown for around there? That's what that's there for, but I want to get this around. So, so otherwise we're going to be around till midnight. I'm just trying to think. Uh, let's I can think. feel it. I no, it, feel it's it. going to be quickly finished. So, let's see. I want to measure mm -hmm. this. I need to know how much I'm going to use without... Outside, does he? Does he want to come in? He can come in. That's how he's coming. Who's sat outside? Her husband. <laughs> Is he good? Queuing up now. You. <laughs> Do you want to tell him to come in? Um. Who wants to do the filming, or who wants to run and let him in? So can I have the pink, please? He needs the pink. He needs pink. The pink and a clean palette knife. Please. Where you go anyway? Karen, do you want to do the well, film with me, run and get him, or do you want to go and get him? Is he confused? You're going to miss this, and then you're going to be angry. Yeah, Karen's going to get him. She'll open the gate for that now. I'm filming you now. Oh. Okay. This is just melted chocolate. It's not tempered. Okay. Yeah, but I like this bit. Don't you like this bit? I like this yeah. bit. Yeah. I'm going to leave that like that. Mm. I want it to be a little bit higher and we can see what effect we're going to get. Mm. Okay, so it's the same thing. That may be a little bit too high, but let's see what's going to happen when we get that into the... I'm not going to close it properly. It's just going to close that it's pinched. You see that? Mm -hmm. You've left a gap. Yeah, there is a little... It's kind of just touching it. Yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's got to go in the freezer again, please. <laughs> Good timing, there. Thank you. <laughs> Is that cold? Those are the pink nails. Yeah, today she said, Oh, God, I forgot! What time? We went, we went no, with Thursday. Oh, my God, my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something had gone wrong, you me, know. It was due for my nails at four o'clock, completely forgot all about it. It didn't help that I turned up on Tuesday for my nails. Oh, thinking it was, oh, right, okay, it was my on the wrong day. day. And then I was here, I was just washing my hands. I just happened to say something, and I was, oh my God. <laughs> it was ten past four, and I was supposed to be in for my nails at four. I, I just left you all. I don't think you even knew where I went, did you? I just, we did, just I'm going for my nails. <laughs> um, Michael, could you tell us what the difference is between melted chocolate and tempered chocolate, please? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Okay, let's so, go. No, melted, cho <laughs> melted chocolate, you just have to melt it, but you don't have to overeat it. Otherwise, if you melt it, if you overeat it, then you st you're still kind of damaging the structure of the chocolate. Uh, and you have more difficult. Hello, husband. <laughs> Hello. Oh, the blokes are coming in now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're rolling in from the pub. <laughs> so. Go down that end and pick yourself a brew. So, this is your <laughs> <laughs> Not her husband. <laughs> and um, tempered chocolate, you have to imagine that chocolate's got different crystals. So it's like a puzzle. So you have to get these, puzzle, these crystals together. If they're not together, then you're going to get a chocolate that's sometimes white or, uh, or you call it uh, chocolate bloom, you know. Yeah. So you have to temper the chocolate. Uh, first of all, you have to melt the chocolate, for example, like this. Uh, each packet will tell you actually what it is. It's up to 50, for example, I'll explain to you. Here it's 45 to 50 degrees that you have to warm it, Celsius. Okay. Then you have to add, you have to cool it down. So to cool it down, you can add the chocolate buttons inside. Okay, normally it's roughly, um, I think it's one third, if I can remember. Cool it down. It will take you down to a temperature of 27 degrees. Okay, then the 27 degrees, you have to lightly warm it again to 31 and then, it, then you have a nice temperature. Each packet tells you exactly how to do it. Fantastic. Normally you would do it on, um, you would have a bain marie, a bain marie, you would have a yeah. pan. We've got water inside. Uh, it doesn't, you just have to bring it to the boil, but make sure that chocolate melts. And don't get any water in it. And don't get any water in it, yeah. Fantastic. Or you just melt it in the microwave very slowly, 30 seconds at a time. And then you have to you crystallize it with this nucleus. Professional way is actually to put a third of it 
on the table, cool it down and put it back into the melted chocolate. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the best way is to have a machine. <laughs> and it's just tempering it all, for, all the time. Yeah. And that's the best way. And if you're actually thinking about making chocolates or doing something professional with it, then it's really worth doing it because it's, um, it makes our life a lot easier. Fantastic. So here we go again. Mm. You see, this is more fluid. It's yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You can. And there's a shine this. now. Yeah. Yeah. So. So just to confirm, anybody who's in class tomorrow, it's going to start at ten. If you don't get the message, don't worry. You'll um. Yeah, have a set another break. Break. longer cup of tea. Clean, clean up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought it was beginning at ten anyway. No. Well, I did till <coughs> these told me half nine earlier. <laughs> All right. I thought it was half nine to come here for a drink. Yeah, we yes. always say to get yeah, in at half it. nine. Yeah. I think you lot could do with an extra hour in bed, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I should get somebody to do this. This is one of those things that you have to get somebody. Rather it's than great. Do. You've been on your feet all day, haven't you, Karen? I've walked to Wales to afternoon. Where, whereabouts in Wales are you going, Karen? Ben and Grew. Just before prosthetic. I do, I like that. You like that, do you? It is, yeah. it is something about that, isn't it? It does actually smell very good. And it's... Is everybody silent watching? Yeah, everyone's yeah. concentrating yeah. now. Silence is golden, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Helen Miles is asking, is it 10 on Saturday? What time on Saturday? Clock? It will be 10 on Saturday. 10 on Saturday as well, Helen. It's 10 in the evening. <laughs> <It's> like 10, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think because we've got so, such long days anyhow, but I would probably say 10. If she gets here for half nine for a cup of tea, it'll yeah. be nine. Yeah. Which is what we said, get here for half nine. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah, Helen is travelling up tomorrow. She's got a car for Alan. Oh, is this ever yeah. car sharing? Yeah. Which is great, isn't it? It's car share. Yeah, yeah it's a good idea. idea. Yeah. That's good. And what, where, where do the people stay? They stay in hotels or they stay with friends? Or uh, no, these are staying in the same hotel. So I think Helen's husband's driving up because the football is on. United yeah. is on. She's bringing Elaine with her and another lady, I think Rita. Is it Rita? Yes. Yeah, they're all coming together. You see how easy that is? Yeah. That's much better, okay. isn't it? Yeah, that happened a lot quicker, didn't it? It did. And it's spread much further as well, yes. hasn't it? Yeah, you can yeah. Have much on. Exactly. How's our little girl coping? Are you coping? He's tired. Are you tired? <laughs> what is your name? Evelyn. Evelyn. Do you want to come say hello to everybody? No. <laughs> no? I'm going to drag her over here. Do you want to come, come and give everyone a wave? Let them know we've got a little one in the kitchen. <laughs> She's the one that's doing the dishes after. <laughs> start them off young. It's not slave labour, child labour. It's starting them off young. A good education. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can read. <laughs> are you all staying in the same hotel, you lot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Sent to the girl, stay away from her. <laughs> <laughs> We're all next door to each other, aren't we? Yeah, well. yeah, oh, really how, how the woman's put us all together. Oh. <laughs> so, right, have you got a sweater on, Michael? Ah, uh, yeah, I've got a. Right. Okay, here we go. You made that look easy. Just have to make sure. It does, doesn't it? I quite it does like actually, that, it actually easy. Mm -hmm. it I'm is. quite happy to oh. give that a go. Now I've got my own tiles here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's actually, this is gorgeous. I didn't have a, I, when I went into the kitchen this morning, I went, that's what I need. And you say, yeah, that's what we're going to give you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a little bit too soft, this part. That's better. You see that, how shiny it is. Yeah. The first time I did this, I was in Germany, working in Germany, and it was, uh, yeah, and we used to fill the table, we used to have a table which was quite long, and we used to have all these huge cakes. It's a company called Einemann. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's much better. These are looking better. Yeah. Yeah. Did you not know what you were doing the first time? I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but I did tell you, didn't I? Look at that. That's lovely. 
think yeah, I am ten at all. <laughs> 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 I'll do that another one in a minute. You're going to show the audience when you do that. Show the camera. Yeah. You can see. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Let me get to the end because I want to no finish cake. <laughs> Michael, what are you saying? <laughs> and this, because there's oil in it, it's much easier to cut then. Yeah. Can you see the cake? No. No. Oh God. I was like, you can put it finished. there in that white bit. Then. Let's put it there. Yeah. There you go. There you are. Beautiful. Yeah. Give it movement, you know, rather than keeping yes. it flat. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Fluffing it up. Yeah, fluffing it up. Don't it, you know, yeah. What does everybody pain. think? Stunning. Absolutely you lovely. You like that? Because they're all staying with us as well, aren't they? So, when you're doing a chocolate truffle cake, you know, the towers, mm -hmm. exactly the same, you just cover it with curls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, um, that's another step. And who wants to come here to learn how to do chocolate? Me. I do want to do a chocolate Me. class. <laughs> I can do a chocolate class, yeah. yeah. But then I would like to show them how to make chocolates and pralines. Yeah. You know the chocolates where you see Should the colours in? Should we do that as a class? Yeah. Should we do that class later? Yeah. When you see the chocolates yeah. and the pralines and show them really how to make different canaches and flavours. We do that flavors. as a bit that towards Christmas okay. class, can't we? Mm -hmm. Now those are... Um, well, you've started them now. We'll do that as a class, say, maybe October. Ready for Christmas. You want to learn everything from me, Michael. You want to learn everything. That's wonderful. Yeah, thanks. absolutely everything. So it's, uh, I was actually the one that started that. It was about... Well, tell us what you developed, because you said, go on. What I developed was, um, do you know the GRD Easter egg? Yeah. That I did, if you look on my webpage, you see, and also in American Cake Magazine this, this month for Easter, that you see an, a GRD Easter egg like this mm -hmm. uh, with um, amethyst, and I'm actually behind it. It's that big, you know? Yeah. And uh, I did the um, the unicorn Easter egg. Wow! So that was. There we go. Yeah, no, yeah, you can. no. You're gonna oh. bugger your nails up. Go on. What can I do? Okay, you have to hold it like that. Let me finish this, oh. and then you've got the rest of the arm. Um, <laughs> um, I get the scraggy little bits. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's looking good. That it doesn't it look yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. So what are we gonna do with the pink cake? It's going to look the same. Uh -huh. So this is just chocolate and oil. There's this is just nothing chocolate else and oil. in it. No, love. Are we doing the pink one tonight? Just love. No, we can do that uh, <laughs> on Sunday. Yeah. And is it going to go with that cake? Are you going to layer it or what? The, the, the pink will look a little bit different because you've got the signs up. That means you don't uh, get yeah, to taste got it. Got the no, signs no. on it. <laughs> And we've got a lot of people very interested in another class in the future. So, oh, okay, yeah. chocolate class. class. Yes, chocolate class. So now I'll do it on payment. So if Michael, if Michael sorts mm -hmm. the date out, yeah, I'll do it on payment so they can start it. Yeah, you, you can start cool. paying now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's it's not paid in natura. It's not. Paying. <laughs> Right, do you want to finish so, do you want to finish this pink cake now? Do you want to finish it? Who wants to finish who wants to see this it's pink half, cake? It's half time. <laughs> yeah. Do you what what did the guys want? No. So what else did I create? You know the the, the, know, the macaron. The macaron. You know the art shaped macaron? Yeah, yeah. I started the art shaped macaron. Yeah. And what did you do with the unicorn? See, it's very good to know that when you talk something, to give recognition to that person. So when you copy it and go on. But yes. what happens is people forget to mention them. And then along the line, somebody else does that demo and they forget to say yes. that, that they've yeah. done it. It's like when I was on Baked In, I did the hedgehog cake with Paul Bradford. Yes. But it was Nicola from um, the Little Peach, Peach Cake Crew who showed me how to do that. So I gave her that credit. acknowledgement. Yeah. But the Baked In boys wanted to give me the acknowledgement. Right. And I had to tell them no. It was Nicola, and it's just nice to yeah, pass that on, isn't it? Is. The unicorn was actually copied uh, by somebody in America, and it was put on Facebook, and they, that person had actually bought Facebook likes. I've never even seen I mean, mm. thousands and thousands of likes on the Facebook, and it was like, what's this? And a very good friend of ours went really, really was uh, very protective against that. Mm. Yeah, it's okay, I know what I've done, you know. So, um, finishing sparkle This is the sparkles. magic spray that everybody has actually... We've already had people commenting Ooh. saying, where's the glitter? 
Oh, is so out now. We knew it would oh, be out. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take to make the pink one, or should we do it on Sunday? But you've also got a rhubarb bouche or whatever it is you're going to make. A rhubarb bouche. A rhubarb bouche. A rhubarb bouche. What is it? I don't know. It's a bouche summer. You know what we're going to do to get that to get it done? Yeah. We're going to change that plaque for this one, and then we've got that. And how quick will you be? Can you stop talking? Yeah, I can stop right, talking. Right, come on, knock it out quick. Come on. Let's get that ribbon. No. Laura's got to be up at six. Where's the ribbon? A, Where's the ribbon? It's, it's not finished. Not finished. Sure. I'll send John in. Where's the ribbon? James is only until now. I've got a I did take a, I'll send a reel of ribbon. What? A wheel of ribbon? What do you want a wheel of ribbon for? Acetate or blue? Or what are you looking for? Actual ribbon. A, a Ask ribbon. everybody, do they want to stay and see the pink one be done now? Um, yeah, this, uh, of course they do. Yeah, of course. No. What do you want? Of course they Some do. Some ribbons are going around. It's not finished. Um, we can get you some ribbon. Don't, we'll worry get about the ribbon. That. Don't worry about that. Yeah. We'll do that for both photos tomorrow. Are you girls happy to stay or do you want to go now? Right. What do you, do you want to do? Do you want to go and get the baby? Do you want to get the little or not? I know she no, she's no, she's awake. Oh, you're all staying? Do you want to see the big one? Oh, that baby ah. side, isn't it? Ah. We'll get some chocolate and keep it going. Right, let's get this tail out. Sorry, I've been with the what about you? Are you staying? Right, you know when I said the class starts at 10 tomorrow? Oh, no, <laughs> we're here at 7. So, do you not? Know, Four people. Probably. Let me just stick that, if you stick that box straight. So, obviously, so we have already gone over time. So, anyone who wants to stay with box. us, um, we are going to go over again. Michael's going to show you how to finish the pink cake that we did before with the ruby chocolate. And um, so we're just going to finish decorating it with the chocolate curls, um, just so you've got another finished product with the ruby chocolate. So um, we do, of course, appreciate you staying with us. And um, we know we have a very loyal following, so it's much appreciated. We're still over. 280 viewers at the oh, wow. moment. We can't that's good. quite believe that's it. Good. That's good. So yeah, thank you very yeah. much for joining us. Three hours in. We've been at it three hours, have we? Yeah, yeah. 280. 280. Do you have any? No, two, 280. 280. 280. Yeah. 280. <laughs> We're dropping, we've dropped two. <laughs> um, so the chocolate that we've used this evening, um, this line has actually been sponsored by Calibo Chocolate. So all the chocolate you'll see that's being used is by their brand. We have got a number of their lines on our website at uh, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Anything that's out of stock will come back into stock okay. with, from okay. them. Um, um, and so this is the gorgeous, um, so this is made with the ruby chocolate. Michael put the chocolate collar around there before, so he's made it a little bit higher than he did with the milk chocolate cake before, um, just so it's a little bit different in design. <clears throat> no pressure there at all, Michael. <laughs> no pressure at all, huh? And then we're going to have Miss Carol coming along, asking us to put it back. <laughs> Yes. And to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Fantastic. Oh, you did do it while I was filming. I know. <laughs> you did it with Steve. Get it back. It doesn't give you a minute, does it? So. Rewind, rewind. That doesn't matter. <laughs> That's going to be part of the effect. We need another cake board, please. Yeah, I've got. Don't touch. That's no, okay. Yeah, don't not on there because it's going to be too warm. And then I need I've also got, some got, oil. Yeah. Are you liking it? Is everybody enjoying themselves? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. What about the husband? He's <laughs> <laughs> been dragged in. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, it's great. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's see if it's enough. I've got some more. Mia's going to go mad with me with this film. And listen, <laughs> don't rely on getting a one minute video <laughs> from this. <laughs> you might have to sit on a wobbly chair and wobble while you watch it. <laughs> so. This is, this is actually cool. But it's been a great night though, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
I know we're all knackered and tired. <laughs> Can you skip breakfast in a minute? <coughs> Same again. First time I've right. done this, so we have to relax it down a little bit so we can make these beautiful. Um, uh, so what do we call this? Relaxing. I wish. Relax it down. <laughs> so we're relaxing this with. Is that the official terminology? Or no, I'm just making that it, up. It's a Michael's it, term. Is it? Yeah. Right. What's the official terminology? I don't know. You just let it. Let it down. Let it down. Let it down. Yeah, yeah. Relax it down. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, no, should we have got some music on? <laughs> so I've still seen that. Bit. I bet people are like watching you stirring that. But they're all getting mesmerised. <laughs> so we're getting good response. That's because you have to have the sexy voice, is it? <laughs> well, yeah. So I believe we're having good responses about doing a chocolate class later yes, on in the absolutely. year. Yes, absolutely. That's really popular and at the moment. And did you just yeah. say that you do macaron classes? I can do macaron classes. Um, yeah. I think I've got Wendy here going on in my ear doing all macaron classes. <laughs> Wendy so, wants every class. I want every yeah. class. I want to learn everything from him. You want to learn everything Absolutely from me? Absolutely everything. Shall we just give you the annex upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're actually, we've actually, I've actually already seen where we're actually kind of spreading through. <laughs> You're going to up. Oh. It's funny, I got a message on Facebook today and somebody said, can you just tell me what the, where those stairs lead to? Ah, I'm really <laughs> they lead to my bedroom, actually. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and when you, you go up there and you go, oh, wow. It's yeah. a lovely bedroom. It's a lovely it's bedroom. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. And I believe you like the carpet. The carpet was nice. Yeah. yeah we've got nice, thick, fluffy carpet. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> and the bed's full of diamonds. Yeah. Is, I think that, has it got diamonds on it, has it? When the last time were you up there? Well, I've never slept. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is, is going up the stairs. This is um, this is an electronic lift uh, with a chair on it. So <laughs> when they've actually okay. abused the people coming here to teach, <laughs> um, they just have to crash onto that, and you push the button, and it drags you up. You know. <laughs> there is one thing though. How long have I got to stand here filming this? I'm just, I'm just relaxing <laughs> it down. Me back, bro. So that's okay. Right, we're done. Yeah. Right, we're done. Okay. Goodness me. That's okay. That's cold. You've never done filming that before. Let's. Oh. <clears throat> I want. I want this space here. Yeah. Yeah, give it a bit. She'll look after it. Watch it. I'm not having none. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we need a palette knife again. Uh, no, that's the scraper. Oh. Yeah. Get your tools right, Vicky, get your tools right. Yes. When I said that, I was going to give him the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try and get this one. It's another one. Because this one's a good dishwasher. Yeah. Well, don't matter, can we not use the other one? It's okay. It's gone quiet again. I know. Mm -hmm. So they all liking it, Laura. Yeah, Lynn Burgess, we will be getting Michael back for some more classes. We just need to confirm Ooh, you're dates a and they'll be on the oh God. Well, I've got to sell myself, haven't I? Oh, what do you want to learn? Sensation. <laughs> so we'll go through the class content, but I think everybody's quite keen to do chocolate work. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll we'll go through the class content with Michael, sort some dates out, and then we'll make an announcement and pop them on our website. Yeah. Um, so we'll give you as much notice as we can. Yeah, because I've got the Cake Illusionist being booked in as well. I don't know if anybody follows the Cake Illusionist. I don't know how she called, but um, she's being booked in for October. Have you heard of right. the Illusionist? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. I know, I've got classes, I've not even got them on the website yet. Making myself dizzy. Maybe people need to do a whole week. Pardon? Might be glad to go quite temporary. Yeah, I'll have that one for the bush. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. I think if we did a chocolate class, I think. The do chocolate think, class. Do you think we should just make this cake? Yeah. Egg? Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to say so that. So we could do tempering, and then you could just knock it. No, a if I, I would like to do chocolates, and the people actually learn how to colour the cocoa butter and the different chocolates to be able to make would the different finishes. Would they learn finishes. tempering in that? Because I think yes. they're all dying to have a go at this. I think a lot of people do struggle with tempering, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the best not throw these slabs away. I've got a few more downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, there's quite a few people saying they're interested in, and there's a, few, there's a couple of people from Kent, so they're all talking about car sharing. And we've yeah. got a lot of ladies who have done, 
similarly done that tonight. So they're all staying in the same hotel. They're going to car share on the way back to well, and from the classes. Share the rooms, and then, yeah, if you're happy to, you can stay in the same hotel, share a room, whatever you want to do. And it makes it much easier for people. And then when we also do the same when people booked on the class and they're staying over. We always recommend the same hotels and we always say pop it on the community page. If you're on a course and you want some company, if you're traveling on your own, pop it onto the community page and ask for anybody else that's on that class. And then you can car share backwards and forwards. And it just keeps you a bit of company as well if you're on your own. You see the different colour out there with this now. Yeah, That's it's lovely, changing isn't it? very it's quickly. Yeah. 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 You, to me, it's, it's the pink coming back now. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 no, it's a reflection from uh, <laughs> from a tea <laughs> pull over. <laughs> no, that's a good idea, do car sharing. But um, I'll sort out some dates with Michael, and um, and then the sooner I can get them on the website, the sooner you can pay a deposit yeah. and start paying weekly or monthly payments. Yeah. I think you all like that payment plan, yeah. which is yeah, it's yeah. very helpful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Albeit, poor Laura's got to work it all out. Yeah. <laughs> I've got invoices coming out of my ears. And that's without the little rolly going on. Yes. Oh, my oh let's talk about the little rolly. Oh, no, please, let's not. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the little rolly another day. Oh, yeah. So, as what you're seeing, I can do this with white chocolate also. And I created a It'd cake. It'd be nice, you know, if you did the chocolates with the different coloured chocolate, yeah. wouldn't it? They made pink ones, gold ones, white ones, yeah. and brown ones. If... Everything that we've done today, we can actually mix. You know, you know, you spray the chocolate. You mix um, ninety percent of alcohol to ten percent gold powder. No. You don't know that. No. You mix that into the into your in a little in a little. You put ten parts, uh, no, nine parts alcohol and one part powder. Is that you gold to powder. get alcohol today, didn't you? Yeah, and you mix that together, shake it up, put it in a spray. And you spray it, and you get the most beautiful gold cakes or metallic cakes, uh -huh. and it dries very quickly. Yeah. You do that with rejuvenator. Spirit. I'll bring some hot cream tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, no, he's got, actually no. He's probably doing royal icing tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Don't be giving him that. Are we changing the cast to chocolate? What we do tomorrow? Do you want to give me that cake, please, love? <laughs> So here we go. You can see tomorrow, I'll be doing the live tomorrow and everyone will have done chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow! Whoa! That's yes, that, that is sexy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, everybody was saying, what happened to the Royal Icing? <laughs> yeah. Well, we changed our mind. We had a class vote and we changed our mind. I know, all that blue dummies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> White chocolate and then they'll be fine. Isn't this cake I decadent? I have to say, don't, I think this is coming out much nicer. It's nice, yeah. but this is the one for Mother's Day. Yeah, I like that. And then you have, to, you have to get the ruby. Yeah. yeah. So, so just let me say, the chocolate, not all of it is in stock, but it will be in stock next week. And the ruby only comes in two and a half <laughs> kilo bags, but it will be in. I'm just waiting for the delivery, that's all. And it is actually very hard to get. And what I will say yes. is with Calibre that I have agreed that I am going to take on quite a lot of their range. So I'm just going to keep adding to it each month. Lots of different things that they do. It's part of the reason why we're going down to the academy. <laughs> Learn about all the bits. Yeah, absolutely. Just that don't like, tell John. That looks like scrunched eh? up silk. Just don't it? tell John. <laughs> John stay in there. scrunched up silk. Like yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Scrunched up silk there. I'm going to take Laura and Karen with me because they do you customer like services. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, Maria is going to kill us. What but is she doing the service in the service stations? Who? What? what, what well, was customer that? service. Oh, customer services. service. I thought you were talking about yeah. we're going to go down because she likes to get off at the, at the service <laughs> station. <laughs> what is she doing in the service stations? <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's gone red. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> she's gone red. Um, Does he know about I'm going to take you to the service station. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. We'll, 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 the, the, the stream's going again. The stream's going again. Right, come on. Get it no, out. We're, we're losing it. We're losing it, are we? Yeah. Yeah, we keep freezing. I'm struggling Should with the Should we cameras. stop? I might come back. I know. I'm a hope for you, don't I? It does, but I want nice big ones in the middle. I don't want to just mess it around with little ones. We may have to finish it on Sunday because I don't know if the stream's going to carry on.
Has anybody got the one over? You can put it on. It's, it is through. Is it frozen? It, well, we're amber on the streaming. It's normally green right. and it's gone amber. So it's intermittent. It's not stopped completely, but it's intermittent. This is a trick for keep, get, making it go cool, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So, are we restarted now, Laura? Yeah. Are we starting? Yep. Okay, so... So, let me just tell everybody what you've missed. You've not missed much. All we've done is just temper some more pink. And um, Michael just needs to cool it down because this uh, is quite warm. It's quite warm. So, he's just taken out some uh, glass um, shelves out of the freezer just to put on top to cool down. So we're gonna finish this cake and then we're actually gonna finish the live. Yeah. Don't break that. Yeah, I'm not gonna break that. All these are gonna be crazy. So I'll take that. So, here we okay. go. So the audience, if you all come back together, and those of you, ooh. Ooh. Like Didn't he do well? <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> Uh, good game, good game, good game. Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth. Generation uh, game. No. <laughs> no. Um, it's under the stairs. Can you just so, we we're, we're working with this one, huh? Let's go for the bigger one. We're going for the big one? Yeah. Oh, right. Go on. Let, let's make some nice. So, is everyone coming back, Laura? Yeah, they're starting to. We're over 100 already. Yeah. Wow. We're doing well at this time of night to have this time. That's of not order. bad, is it? No, you're doing very well. So. See ya. Thanks. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Oops. Oops. Nearly. 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 <laughs> Where's that plaque? Let's get it on there. This is... I'm going to go back to the small one. Don't be too adventurous. There you are. So we're just going to cool them up and put back higher. You can actually make these and just place them on a tray and keep them as a decoration and then when you need them that's the mm. idea. Yeah, yeah. We just use them as a... So, brilliant live tonight. Well done, Michael. We're really very, Thank very you. pleased. And it seems that there is a big demand for you to do chocolate classes. So, talking of chocolate classes, I will talk to Michael one evening this week, one evening, not in the mornings, and we'll sort out some dates of when Michael thinks he can come back. And then as soon as I get it up, you can start I'm going booking on. Going again. You can book already. Again. Yeah. Can you just film it at all? No. So we can stop. Are we locked? Are we finished now? Mm, it's gonna go. Pardon? It's gone again. Uh, okay. So. Okay guys, so we're back on. We're just going to show you the finished product. We know you missed the end of Michael decorating the pink cake, um, but we are having a few streaming problems. So we're just going to very quickly um, show you what he's done. Um, stay there, I can get you view there. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to very quickly um, show you what he's done and then um, say thank yous, basically, <laughs> before we go again. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's been a fantastic live, and what I'd like to say is thank you very much for being very patient and joining us tonight. Um, it's been a three-hour live, it's been a long night, but you know what, we've have a, have had streaming issues, but it's been great to see each and all of you come back, which is absolutely amazing. These things do happen, we don't know why they happen, but you don't know whether it's the weather, you don't know whether you've got too many cameras on, we've no idea. Idea. But what I do want to say is a big thank you to Laura especially because she's got to be in work at six o'clock in the morning. She stayed an extra hour. Oh. Big thank you to Karen who was trying to get out five minutes ago and is now blocked in by all the cars on the drive. Big thank you to Michael who's not actually had any sleep for yes. 24 hours. Okay, God bless him. He's travelled in from Belgium. So an amazing live. And this man has not stopped today. Neither has Karen. 
Karen's been in here since seven o'clock this morning uh, prepping for the classes and a big thank you to you lot for coming and joining us yeah, tonight as well which and is great and I hope you've enjoyed this and by the amount of people that have stayed with us all night it appears that you have which is amazing thank you to Calibo as well for sponsoring this live and we will be doing the draw for your Calibo chocolate next week so don't forget to like and share go and like and share each section of the live but what I do want you to do is when Maria posts it, she's going to post it so that the whole lot will go as a full live on YouTube. She'll replay it again. And I'm going to get her to replay it again on Monday night as one full live. And then if you do see it, even if you don't watch it all, just like and share, like and share. That would be yeah, great. Wonderful. And big thank you to you, Michael. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you for joining us, everybody. Just again. You can look good. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday yes. with another Facebook Live with Michael at 8pm which so is going to be great on Sunday. that's going to be yes. crazy yeah. and we're also going to be doing little lives each night um, to show you what the students have done in class and I'm sure they're going to tell you what a wonderful time they've had and by the sounds of things they're all going to be meeting up again very soon yes. so a big thank you everybody thank you very much thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.